And we are recording. Okay. Where we last left off, uh, Solania and Omri discovered the true identification of the pit that they so lovely went into uh, unceremoniously. Um, there was a bunch of traps, some poisons, some booms and explosions. Fun was had top by hats. All. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hats. Some top hats. Hats. Yeah. Fun was had by all. Hats and cats. Aw, oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. That would have been a great episode title. Shit. Damn it, Tori. I know. And honestly, I can't really remember where we left off, so... <laughs> I think it was right after Fargo's weird dream talk. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. weird dream talk. <laughs> yeah, after Fargo told her to stop being I a had, shit. Basically, I got a, I got a call from Dad. Saying, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Dad? <laughs> I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'm not angry. In fact, I, I, I rather expected this. <laughs> I'm just disappointed that I had to be right yet again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we will pick up the morning after. With everyone waking up. They, they came back, right? Or did they sleep at the... We came back we're all because we back finished the, the cart. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, so we're all at the tavern in the morning. Yeah, that, that's where I told everybody that, you know, Omri keeps us on our toes. And it was beneficial ah. to keep you around when some people didn't want you around. <laughs> I convinced the group. <laughs> it's one thing he picked up from the doors. When you fuck up his crafts, he gets real mad. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So you were all at the end. Yeah. Has Omri come down? Has Omri come down? Um, when she wakes up, she's gonna look over at Solania and be like, Did you get a visitor last night, too? No idea what you're talking about. Unless you're just talking about the spider. Is he still here? I have no, no. idea. Is he, though? Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> <laughs> Make a perception check. Oh, no. <clears throat> Started off good. <clears throat> Starting off real great. All right, boys, we got combat. We're fucked. <laughs> the spiders are everywhere now. <laughs> they multiply. None of them can die. Can... Well, if he is here, I don't know where it is. Oh, wait, no, it's a she, right? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's a she. Is. Yeah. That's why they multiplied. <laughs> if it was a male, we wouldn't be having this issue. <laughs> well, ready to go face the music? Well, I guess you're fine. You didn't really do anything to fuck up everyone's day. Uh, this will be fun. What visitor did you get? Huh? Oh. I think I might have been. I think I might be just losing my mind. It's fine. Who knows? Maybe you'll get it soon, too. If you get a weird visitor in the night when you're sleeping, let me know. Then I'll know I'm not crazy. All right. Go Two downstairs. downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> to breakfast. <laughs> now I'm downstairs, Mr. Mike. <laughs> Sporex just glaring at her. <laughs> She's gonna do like that, like whispery thing, where she like you need like kind of put your hand over your mouth when you're talking to someone beside you. Like, totally deserve that. <laughs> Go sit down with the others.
<laughs> Battle music I just heard come on. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Like, Roll this, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, Mike and I plan this. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna take you out of the kneecaps, and I'm just gonna. I'm gonna fall on that head there. <laughs> how'd the uh, how'd the rest of the work go? No one's gonna totally die tonight. Well, much as I don't like to admit it, you know, messing it up did kind of help us a bit. Looks a little better now. Well, that's good, I guess. My bad, by the way. Really didn't think that was gonna, you know. Where did you even find that? In a drawer somewhere. Whose drawer was it, Omri? <laughs> <laughs> I like how Snork is asking this because he knows. <laughs> just what do you mean, Snork? Right? You, you don't just find random drawers on the road when you're, you know, walking through town? <laughs> I'm going to give you just enough rope to Not hang Not with yourself. exploding journals in them. I mean, you clearly haven't been to the right towns. Cal just says, sorry, I just try and keep my hands out of random people's drawers. <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised I went there before Joe. So, yeah. Man, I knew you thought of it. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> so... Well, What's the plan gold. for today? Is she still poisoned, by the way? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> <That's a> great... <laughs> we'll find out real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, here's the leftover of the money. And all the receipts. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. You, Omri, owe me Sphoric 10 gold. For Just what? Because you killed Cog. Uh, oh. Can't talk technically not die, per se. He does die, and I need to spend ten gold to bring him back every day. Well, you can have ten gold of my cut from this job. I you don't need have ten gold on you right now? Maybe. Then why you don't you write just that off gold right now? Well, I, I don't feel like it's you can have it when we're done this. She just Who knows? Maybe I'll die and you can just have all the money on my dead corpse. Oh. Alright, can't you write that off as a business expense? Sphoric leaves. <laughs> Sphoric! <laughs> don't be like that! You killed my cat! To be fair, I like the cat too. He's a great cat, but he's not dead. You literally just said you could bring him back. Ten gold? That's an expensive cat. I mean, it may not necessarily be dead, but it still probably suffered. I still probably felt that. I mean, we all felt that, but... Some of us more than others. Sporek! Come back! We have work to do. Sporek! Yeah, technically, he has work to do. Yeah. I mean, maybe Cal could help him, but... Sphoric's neither... already gone. I know, I figured it. Yeah, <laughs> she's just doing it in the vein of <laughs> so he comes back. Sphoric, no! <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, I don't really think Garrus or I can really help on that. I believe the stuff he's going to be working with are more on the volatile end of the spectrum. Yeah, the last thing we need is me drinking something. <sighs> Anybody know how long that's going to take to finish? Well, I think he wants to do the sh- He's uh, probably going to finish it on the day. I think it was like the well, night before. Yeah, just, Actually, well, as, we might know the day. As, yeah, oh. as close- Do we? Well, we'll be able to go find out the day. Yeah. Now. 
should be second. second late. I mean, we know whose job that is. <laughs> yup. <laughs> He could go back to like the scene of the crime. Yeah, yeah. Who's the only one who has access? <laughs> he could just, you know, send like a messenger. No. Do that, but if yeah. there are messengers, they show up in the dead of night, and I uh, didn't get one last night, so. So send it by a pigeon, a crow. I mean, that you should did, but <laughs> let's not. So send it by arcane flying notebook. Wait, that's a thing? Or we can just walk. Just, it's I, the I same assume, city. I assume with flying cats, it's probably a thing. I suppose that's fair. I mean, I think I mean. Flying cat. No, that, I mean, that, that's fair. Literally hit somebody with a flaming mace on command. I'm pretty sure it's possible. Oh, uh, you can do that too? Yeah. This is kind of dope, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, mine tends to be a hammer. Or an anvil. <laughs> the anvil's kind of funny. <clears throat> yeah. I'll talk to you about that later, because that is an interesting way of using it. I don't know, anyways, we should probably go find out when that is. I don't think yeah. we have anything else to do today, so we should probably just go get that done. Well, Fair I point. don't. I don't know about the rest of you. Well, three hour walk that away. Yay! <laughs> so everybody gets up and goes to the desk by their estate. <laughs> oh. The way we go. I don't know about Mine is fork. Yeah, well, I don't know about everybody. Maybe he's not there, please. Mm hmm. If we're gonna leave Fork alone, should we at least leave somebody with him? I mean, it's not gonna yeah. be me. I know you've had it. Well, yeah, you're banned from the safe house. Right, you did get safe house privileges revoked. From this. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Okay. I mean, you got kicked out of the treehouse. Why would you live in a tree? It's a, it's a figure of speech. Why wouldn't you live in a tree? Trees are great. I guess that's fair. None of you are quite as big as I am. Figures. Cat just thinks Baxter reloads. <laughs> Literally <laughs> living in a tree. Well, dead in a tree. <laughs> it's a figure of speech among human children. The humans make, make their children live in trees? <sighs> I will explain this to you later. Okay. We have Why a three hour now? walk ahead of us. Do it walk. now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, something's got to keep us entertained the entire way there. <laughs> as Nestor, as uh, Garrus regales us with the, uh, the the long and storied history of treehouses. <laughs> and you arrive at the estate. <laughs> That's a yeah, long, long fucking story. history. It is. Well, you have to explain why they'd start building in the tree and what's the point of being kicked out and so on and so forth and yeah. No, he understands the kicked out part. It's the treehouse part he doesn't get. <clears throat> Your bogs are heavy people. They can't really live in trees. Oh. Um, what do we got? Tiefling, human, or elf rotation? <laughs> human. Uh, this would be the humans. Human. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Omri. Was it that, that picked like Omri up off the floor? Oh no, it was the elves. Was... Never mind. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is boss man in? No. Is he where he was yesterday? I would imagine so. He didn't return home last night. Hmm. All right, well, see you later. Turn around and leave. <laughs> yeah. Well, we uh, don't know yet. So, 
what do you mm-hmm. want to do for the rest of the day? And I'd love to spend the rest of the day here telling our friend Theron here about the uh, complexities that is the figure of speech. Literally, after three hours, if you haven't figured it out by now, it's a lost cause. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. There, see? If I have to explain to him the concept of being all thumbs, I would have given up on Theron. <laughs> no, that's what the dwarves call me. Okay, so you already know that one. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm not, but I don't know. I get what they mean. Okay. I bet she's gonna get some fucking fucker. Uh... Before you, Theron actually didn't have thumbs at all. <laughs> <laughs> just has no thumbs, but knows what all thumbs means. Yeah, yeah, it just has no thumbs, but is somehow able to, you know, <laughs> wield weapons. Yeah, I mean, you don't really need a thumb to wield weapons. Yeah, that's fair. It's more of a stabilizer, though. I'm just saying, I knew a guy who played a character who used feet for weapons. There you go. <laughs> need monks, kind of do. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Nah. <laughs> it's just kind of hard to do that when, you know, your feet are covered. But, fair enough. Anyways. And what else do we have to do? Nothing. So where would Sforg be at this time? That's me. Cut to Mike. <laughs> he would probably just be going back to the, his safe house to work on something. Okay. He does so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the vice to, to get revenge on Omri. <laughs> All right. So, what is the rest of the party doing? Walking aimlessly. <laughs> Pretty much. We're 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 being tourists. Okay. I'm gonna look over at Solania and just be like, "Do you, do you, do you, should we talk about the thing?" What thing? The thing from the other night, remember? Oh, yeah, probably. We should probably have Sforic here, I guess, though. No, oh, but I'm not allowed in the safe house. I guess I can just talk through the door. Technically, I won't be in the safe house. Talk loudly outside the door? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll just leave the door open. I'll just talk at you guys. I... I... Technically, I'm not in the safe house. Maybe I'll be guaranteed temporary living. Or allowance. (laughs) Temporary living. (laughs) You have five minutes before I shoot you so full of bolts they won't recognize your corpse. Start talking. <laughs> Do you guys mind if we head back to the workshop? I mean, that's fine. It's fine by me. We head to the workshop. Hey! The door right. is locked. Anybody know the secret? Knock for the door. It's called burn the door down. Or oh, just walks up <laughs> and just starts going, kind of like Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. Sporic, 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 Sporic. <laughs> Louder. Sporic, Sporic. <laughs> just keeps going. Maybe he's not here. I don't have message and I don't have sending. <laughs> I don't okay. have magic. Unfortunately, I can't help you here. Maybe he's just not answering to Omri? I don't know, someone else try. So I was just gonna kinda knock. Sforic! It's kinda important.
All right. Well, huh. maybe he's not here. Yeah. How can he not be here, though? Where else was he planning on going? I don't know. It's four. Yeah. Fair point. Assume maybe he has to go shopping. Maybe. Yeah. He could be uh, one of many different places here, so. Yeah, that's true. Just like, give him some time. Well, he would know about the thing, though, right? Maybe. I guess. Possibly. I mean, I don't think we should do it without him if we decide to do it. Hmm. Um, Josh. Mm -hmm. In my wonderfully sporadic notes here, I have this wonderful thing that says Westrun, a bunch of random shit about Westrun, and then it says Magic Store, Gilmore's Glorious Goods. Is that a thing, or am I crazy for Cocoa Buffs? That's a thing. No, that's a thing. That's a thing. Oh, okay. That's a thing. Franchise. Do you guys, do you guys want to just go wander? And I'm all right with that. to hear about the skill more as glorious goods. I mean, I've heard about it before. It seems cool. I suppose it's like a... What the humans call a Sephora? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> I just wanted to reference that one episode. <laughs> Glad I didn't hear it. All right, so you go to Gilmore's. Josh was not playing for this. Well, I always plan for this. <laughs> you plan for the instance in which your players would be like, "Yeah, let's fucking go to Gilmore's because Gilmore's." <laughs> I mean, At this yeah. point, I think Josh just kind of prepares for many inevitable things. Mm -hmm. I have to. Tori's here. <laughs> yeah. Josh, Josh just prepares for chaos. Yep. Basically means the inevitable punching of a ramp random There episode. are eight doors. I want to open all of them. Oh god, if she punches Gilmore. <laughs> It'll be... Be able to forgive an offense like that. <laughs> she she punches Gilmore. Hey guys, where'd Omri go? Oh, she's a pile of dust on the floor. She's a pile of dust, and I don't hold I don't hold him for it. <laughs> All right, where's she gonna go? So you go inside. Uh, it is somewhat busy. Uh, it's not like overly crowded, but there's a few people in here. Uh, people seem to be trying on capes and you know, looking at magic uh, items and rings and all sorts of weaponry. Uh, you do see there is uh, an elven gentleman uh, who notices you come inside and he walks over and just like, Oh, yes, hello, how can I help you? Uh, we're just sort of looking around. I'll feel for your brows, and uh, if you have questions, let me know. <laughs> What's, yeah, like, so... the cheapest thing you have here? <laughs> With all this money that we have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did we ever figure out the distra distraction? <laughs> no. We will be made the details of that soon, hopefully. Yeah, we don't hey. know what day and all this other hoopla, so we gotta do that later. Uh, yeah, cheapest, cheapest thing you got here. You got like a bargain bin? Later in section, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> How cheap are you looking? Uh, just, you know, your more lower end items. Feel free to show me a few. So much magical, more wondrous in nature. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I can show you our affordable bin. 
can go. That for. sounds very much right up our alley. <laughs> our affordable spin. Oh no. She says while well, making a night. The counter reaches under the desk and sets a uh, bin on the counter, and you see <laughs> a bunch of healing potions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Normal we can... potions of healing. We okay. We we can go like a step up from that. You sure? Because I hear these are quite in demand. Do you want the affordable bin or the what less affordable? What are you looking for? I have no idea. Help. That's that's kind of why I'm here. I just sort of wanted you to show me stuff. What? Magic does your heart desire? I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of sings to me, that statement. <laughs> oh, you need to dream. Do you have like a quiz or something I can take that'll, like, you know, tell me what kind of magic my heart desires? It, it's. What school of magic are you? Take this quiz and find out now! <laughs> he, uh, he just, like, sighs. It's just like, ah. Uh... And he whips his hand around and pull, like appears like an envelope. And he gives it to you, and he says, "This is for those who lack creativity." <laughs> you, you have a menu. You don't need to be so harsh about it, but geez, thanks. I love your marketing department. <laughs> I open up the envelope. <laughs> What's in it? It, as you open the envelope. It announces to you. Oh, Jesus. It says, it's like a fucking letter to Hogwarts. It pretty much. And it, it, it says, Ah, yes, the weak-willed and absent-minded. <laughs> no! <laughs> can I close the envelope, or is it too late? <laughs> you can. It just keeps going. Oh, shit. <laughs> once, it, once you start it, you can't stop it. So you mm. want to discover the perfect magic item for you. Oh my god. Ferris <laughs> is just sitting there, like, just like enjoying every bit of answers. this. We will find what your heart desires. It's literally a what school of magic are you quiz. <laughs> and then a pen or a uh, uh, bottle of ink and a quill pen appear within the, the paper. <laughs> I'm just picturing like it's projecting an image of Gilmore and it's just scrutinizing her. Nope, it's just a, just a voice. Oh, it's just his voice. Uh, it's not his voice, it's just a random voice. Oh, it's man. just a male... male voice. Yeah. Right, because Josh does not want to imitate Matthew Mercer. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I will uh... fail at that every time. Alright, what are my questions? <laughs> First question is... What type of item are you seeking? And you see armor piece, uh, accessory, weapon, <laughs> or other. Oh, Gosh, right. says we're reading out of the book. Nope. <laughs> uh, does other have like a line next to it? Yes. She writes all of the above. <laughs> that well, does not help. It's a fill in the blank so you can fill like. Oh, you can, like, you're going like, to select all your answers. Oh, okay. I select all the answers. Okay. Except for other. <laughs> the next question is a fill-in-the-blank. <laughs> and it is, it's simply asked, what do you want your item to do? Kill things good. <laughs> Kill things good. <laughs> <laughs> Make no, dead I, said, things. I, I, I said gooder. Oh. <laughs> Make dead stuff. Um... <laughs> Make dead stuff but is a whole lot different than would... make stuff dead, okay? Just to be specific. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might want to yeah. be specific what, on your what is a, One is dead. a combatant, the other is necromancy, so, you know, <laughs> fine line. <laughs> fine line. Fine line. Fine line. Yeah, one could be a plus um... one weapon, the other one is probably a staff fan to make dead. Yeah. When do you have a good wish? Be specific as possible. Oh, yes. Anyways. Uh... I literally don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I want to enter the wall. She just writes down, something cool. <laughs> <laughs> 
Next. Define. <laughs> okay. The next question <laughs> is a yes or no question. And it asks, are you, are you a bitch? user of the arcane arts? <laughs> it fucks an arcane. <laughs> I mean... It would be funny if, the, if, there was like uh... a, if there was like a tiny third box that was like, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here like, I can cast spells. <laughs> I have three. <laughs> Define arcane, yeah. That's... Yeah, I was gonna say, like, how <laughs> magical are we talking here? <laughs> it does I mean, not specify. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a yes, but I'm not like a... Just... Like, I'm not like Solania, so I guess I... not. I, I don't know. I'm gonna turn about. and look at the group and be like, <laughs> I don't know if arcane in this instance means just magic in general or like specifically the non divine casters. I mean, there's a clerk right next to us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, is the elf still there? No, the elf has walked away and how's helping oh. other people. I was just picturing uh... like he and Garrus were exchanging like judging glances at our choices. <laughs> well, I mean, nobody here is an arcane caster. I'll just put no. Hmm. Okay. The fact that this con question confuses me, I think, is a sign that I'm a no. <laughs> yeah, probably is there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but well, yeah, well, you're not here. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no, you're not. Yeah, he's not here. Yeah, yeah. Nobody here is an arcane caster. <laughs> okay. Hmm. We do have one, but he's not here. He's building. The next question is, on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being poor, and <clears throat> being exceedingly rich... How wealthy are you? <laughs> is there a zero? Where does 150 gold stand, do you think? <laughs> zero. Is there a negative like, two? I think one. I'm poor. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I'm not a, I feel like I'm a one or a... Wait, yeah, I'm not a one. Poor would be like I have absolutely nothing to my name. So I'm not a one. Yeah. One is Garrus, who has no gold to his name currently. I think I'm probably like a two or a three. No, I'm a two because I have 22 gold. You're probably... <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'll, I'm a three. Yeah, I have 15. There. I put myself at 3. <laughs> okay. And as you write your answer, the scroll and the ink and the pen disappear, and they're left with a card in your hand. You <laughs> There's get... nothing here for you. Leave. <laughs> yeah, you get nothing. <laughs> you lose. I Good day. look at the card, read the card. The card says... The item to best fit you is a cloak of billowing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something cool. <laughs> that going to be like a coupon. What you said. I had a cloak of billowing on my monk. It's great. Five silver off your next purchase of a cloak of billowing. <laughs> <laughs> a single If you color. spend a hundred gold or more. Yeah. Can I take the quiz again? Gilmore's sure. glorious goods. <laughs> the card reverts back uh, <laughs> to an empty quiz. <laughs> okay, oh, fill everything back in the way it filled out, except for something cool. <laughs> can uh, can okay? Can we get Garrus to take this Um. Mm -hmm. make me and or my weapons stronger. There we go. That's more Send. specific. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it reverts into a card and shows you the gauntlets of ogre power. Man! That is a uh, vastly out of your price range. Yeah. I put in three. Like, how expensive can it be? <laughs> your definition. Yeah. Does it list the price on the on the card? Yours. No. I look for like clerk slash another attendant. I don't know if there's any other person in the store. If it's just this one guy. There's a, a couple people. I find one that's that. free. Okay. Yeah. You you find. Uh, actually, by this time, that same elf will be free. Oh. oh. This 
How much does this cost? Oh, the gauntlets. Those are another affordable item. <laughs> How affordable? Yeah. How affordable? Are we in like the 50 to 100 gold range? Or are we in like the 200 gold range? Is, is that your definition of affordable? I just how how much <laughs> I need to know if I messed up on this quiz. They aren't. It's not very specific. Yeah, that already price tells rate. us how uh, <laughs> that we can't afford it. The gauntlets of ogre power. Are four hundred gold. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, it's... Garrus immediately walks in a direction to admire the decor. I look at the card. Quiz! <laughs> it reverts into a quiz. Go back to the quiz. <laughs> Just put one. I do one. Okay. The quiz turns go. to ash. <laughs> <laughs> you can afford nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Or madam. All right. Well, you guys wouldn't have a dab. I didn't know. This was fun. How much for a healing potion? Fifty. You wouldn't have to have like an affiliate program or something. <laughs> I need to get Garrus a tank of sobriety. <laughs> the hey, potions don't. of healing are <laughs> forty-five this. gold apiece. It just, just cringes at the price. Uh, I'll take one. Do you guys make your own healing potions, by the way? No, they are sent to us. Oh. We, uh, <laughs> we need to get a wand of smiles for Omri. Oh, no. <laughs> Smile, motherfucker! I put 45 gold down. In exchange for a healing potion. He gives you a healing potion. I wish I had that much money. Do you guys have like an affiliate or like sponsor or something? I don't know. Anything to be purchasing things here in the future? Not I mean, we, we have like a long no. time buyers program. <laughs> Not uh, for usually, you, you broke ass scrub. <laughs> usually, like, those that purchase from us are already wearing our insignia, thus bringing more customers in for us, which we appreciate. Uh, do you just give those out? <laughs> or do you have no. like a do you have like a frequent like a buyer's card or something? Why are you asking for a frequent buyer's card? You didn't even spend any money. I'm just asking. Right. Usually you have to buy something to be qualified for frequent buyers. Uh, can I get frequent buyers? I'm sorry, the potions don't qualify. I don't think so. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, have a good day. Uh, you know. Yep. <sighs> Mr. Elf. Thanks for this. Alright, see ya. May Todd. it save a life. I, I mean, that's what I bought it for. <laughs> you know I could heal, right? I can heal too, so can Solania. But it doesn't mean that this isn't useful. But it also doesn't mean that we're all a little bit dumb babies at times. <laughs> also very true. What happens if I'm unconscious, you're unconscious, and she's unconscious? Then what then, happens? Then we're probably all already dead. <laughs> then Kyle will save the day like he did before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like how Theron's in the background. A cleric. <laughs> oh, and... that's true, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we uh, don't know. He's never, that's like, true. That's specified, true. so I'm just like, you got a hammer. Like, I think you just beat people with a hammer. That's so. true. <laughs> <laughs> You've never shown any healing, so I wouldn't know. That's true, dude. Yeah. The only so, I mean, I have cast spells, but not, not around Omri. Omri. Omri looks at Cal and goes, You now know, I have this. If shit goes bad, you can take it from me and, you know, use it. If ever I'm unconscious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> next, week. Thank you. next week? Wow. I was Probably, tomorrow, yeah. Knowing us. <laughs> yeah. For hell. Well, right now, it's, roll initiative! <laughs> actually, yeah, what time is it? <laughs> 
it's early afternoon. Yeah, there's still mm -hmm. plenty of day left. We got plenty of time yeah. to get into shit. Actually, it'd be mid afternoon now. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Either Mm. Uh, question for you, mm. if you're, you know, so inclined. Um, you do forge-related activities, yeah? Mm -hmm. I have these. I reach into my bag and pull out bullet claws <laughs> that I fucking forgot I had. Oh, that's <laughs> totally I forgot I had these things. I pull out four bullet claws and two two null fangs, and go. Can you like weaponize this? Can he weaponize it? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, probably. It's probably just going to take me some time. I feel like they would just come back as Wolverine claws. <laughs> I mean, that'd be dope. I do a wield. I would be so fucking down. <laughs> ching, ching. I mean, like, but... how big are the bullet claws is, is the question here. I don't know. <laughs> Easter Josh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like, each individual claw is like the size of Cal's hand. It's like probably make like a dagger out of make one a, weapon. A dagger out of them or a couple arrowheads. Could do like a set of brass knuckles, maybe. Or like punch daggers. Even if you mm. only make one weapon, or I don't know. I'll. As we just learned, I'm apparently uncreative and narrow-minded. So, um. I mean. I mean, some Possible. punch daggers out of those would be kind of dope. Well, do you want me to leave them in your hands so that you can, I don't know, figure something out, and then you just get back to me? Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Alright, if ever you need any, like, stuff, let me know. I can probably pay for it. And I just right. hand him... Okay. I hand him, I give him the null fangs, too, just in case. So there's two null fangs and four bullet claws. Yeah, those are probably going to end up being, uh... At most, you could probably make, like, a... A necklace, the start of a necklace with those two fangs. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, necklace. actually, yeah, that'd be <gasps> pretty dope. Earrings. <laughs> mm, yeah. Stab them through my earlobes, like fuck yeah. <laughs> Might be a bit of a grim trophy for the null fangs, though. <laughs> oh, this bitch kills people. <laughs> I mean, a halfling fist size claw is pretty. Large yeah. claw. Yeah. That's at least like a punch dagger or maybe like some brass knuckles. Wolverine we'll claws. Yeah, we'll <laughs> they're perfect for that. Yeah. I have to share off a lot of material to make that. Anyways, you got them. Do, do, you yeah. know, do foragey things. <laughs> I, I leave you to your creativity. I just, I just yeah. hit stuff. Yeah, the, <laughs> the unfortunate thing is that I can't use my, uh, Flossing out the forge because it's not metal. Hmm. I, I mean, you could cover them in metal. <laughs> well, well, yeah, I just can't but, basically yeah. forge something using them as the resource yeah. for blessing of the forge. Yeah. Or not blessing of the forge for that artisan blessing. The thing where I can make shit using magic. <laughs> um, is there like an apothecary or like an herbalist shop anywhere in this part of town? Um, yeah, I, I'd say there is. I go that way. <laughs> Harris is just going to follow at this point, because everything has been thoroughly entertaining. <laughs> I, if, you guys got, uh, if, you, if you guys have other things you want to do, just let me know. I'm kind of just trying to kill time. <laughs> filling, kinda... filling the space. You would I mention nothing that important to do. I mean, Garrus is in the market for a uh, weapon that's not just hitting someone inside the head, but also, you know, stabbing and slashing. I just love looking at my my weapons because I carry a longsword, a warhammer, a longbow, and a quarterstaff. <laughs> I'm like, where the fuck do I keep all this shit? <laughs> um, apparently somewhere. I don't know, but it's hilarious to me. Um, and it's only half <laughs> of my carrying capacity, but whatever. Yeah, I, I just, I have two weapons. That's all I need. I carry four. Like, what the fuck? I don't need all this shit, but oh well. Got him. Hey, if you lose one, you got a backup. That's true. <laughs> and then you got a backup of backup. And I've got Theron making me another one, so, you know. Yeah, but that's probably going to be like a dagger or something. That's yeah, fine. I'll take it. 
Fortunately, it's not a lightning dagger. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, yeah, but Theron doesn't want that. I want that. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> just think different. I'll have a bullet weapon, and then Talania has bullet armor. It's awesome. Yeah, we we all match. Win. We never actually got that. Yeah, we did. I paid for no, it. We, didn't. we paid for it. Didn't. We never it actually wasn't... got it. We never, we never got it yet? We yeah. never went back to the shop. Theron, take us back to where you stored. I, I thought I mentioned that we had it. Okay, I guess I, not. I thought, I don't know. I thought I remember hearing you okay. guys. Okay, I it, guess not. Then. Then I just don't remember then. I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't know. Josh, do you remember? Because apparently we all have poop memory. No way. I, mean, I, I, I thought you guys had had it. I okay. did too. Okay, well DM thinks we have it, so Zelania has it. Okay, okay, so yeah, Solania has bullet armor. I have, I'll have bullet weapon. <laughs> there we go. All right, to be oh, right. Apoth apoth the herbalist. Apoth herbalist. Yes, the apothebalist. Because you didn't tell me what it was, so I assume it's both. <laughs> Herbicary. Herbicary. <laughs> that one sounds better. This does apoth mean apothebalist just sounds like someone trying to say apocalypse, but they just like have a really bad like list. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. All right, Mike Tyson. So yes, to the herbicary. <laughs> herbicary. Okay, yeah. Uh, you go to the herbalist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> enough, it's actually what he's called on his sign, Mike the Herbicary. <laughs> <laughs> Shaggy's herbicary, <laughs> herbicary shop. We and go in. Go inside. <laughs> okay. We stand. In the front of the door. <laughs> hey, hey, you got, you got herbs. Slani instantly wanders off to go and look at everything. <laughs> I need herbs. <laughs> Don't touch down. anything dangerous. Yes, she knows what she's doing here. I go up to the counter if there is one. Yeah. Yeah, there, there is one. You find <laughs> a human woman. <laughs> Seems to be reading a book. Hello? Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't notice you. That's surprising, but okay. Uh, reach into my bag, pull out my medicinal herb, and my potion herb that I found way back when, when I was forging, when I thought I was going to take a completely different path of ranger. Put them on the counter. <laughs> okay. Looking to sell these good quality herbs to you that have been in your pocket for i don't know how many days it's not in my pocket they've been nicely put away in my bag they still been in your bag for several days even dry they still work do i need to roll like a nature check to see how well i took care of these <laughs> um no okay <laughs> Um, she does inspect them. Get to use my dice roller. <laughs> okay, yeah. She does a pretty good job. And she says, um, I'll give you six gold. Total? Yes. Ten. Make a per persuasion check. <laughs> yeah, I almost thought you were going to say performance. <laughs> I was like, uh. <sighs> Oof. I think six is a better price. Can I tell that she's, like, undervaluing my herbs? It would probably you also help if you had somebody nearby who is also good at insight and persuasion. What would you say, Josh? Do you remember the price of the herbs? I want to say they were like 25 a piece. Yeah, they were! <laughs> they were 25 gold a piece because I was forging for specific herbs. You can insight check. Do I get advantage because I know how much they're worth? <laughs> sure. Eh. Eh. Huh. Fitting.
she is lowballing you, but from your understanding, she doesn't seem to know the exact cost of the herbs. She's trying to estimate. All right. So I know they're ever so slightly aged, which I'll give you that will take a little bit off. But each of these herbs, each at full price, is 25 gold. Now you can make another persuasion check at advantage. <laughs> I was also about to say something else, but I'll take that. That's fine. <laughs> I'll stop there. <laughs> <sighs> oh Might god. Be for the best. Oh, my roll 20 is lagging. Okay, there we go. I almost, it was like hovering between like religion and persuasion. I was like, no! <laughs> Make her see you like Fitting. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that they cost so much. Um, just the age must really not be good for them. Um, I'll give you 15 gold each. Fifteen years, that's thirty gold. <laughs> you know what? I'm sure. had a few days lately, so sold. Fifteen gold each. Thirty gold. I'll take it. Sure, because right. you're in the background saying you did a good job. She gives you thirty gold. You I give her two herbs. Thank you. She gives you a slight nod and goes back to reading her book. What books you're reading? She is reading a book called Herbs of the Forest and Where Not to Find Them. <laughs> well, that's comforting. In a place not in the forest. I thought you were about to, I thought you were about to say she's reading something called Dune. I have no idea what it's called. But it's actually <laughs> referencing. <laughs> Everybody How ready to go? Anybody got anything? Solana, did you find anything you wanted? No, I'm alright. I'm ready to go wherever it is we need to go next. Uh, I guess go back and see if Sporg's home. I don't unless you guys have anything you need to do. I'm um, I'm out. That was that was it. I'm in the market for either a uh, short or long sword for oh, the short well, end. We can go back to uh, what's his face? Redrick. That's where I got my stuff. Yeah, if, you give me the, if you give me the money, I can make it. An hour. Or that. Well, we could just have you buy it. Why would I have to buy it? I can just make it. Why do I also feel like Redrick wouldn't be super keen on seeing Theron after he kind of just ditched him? Uh... <laughs> I feel like he might get a like just stuff thrown at his head again. I mean, if Theron could make it, just let Theron make it. Also true, we could just have him make it. <laughs> Does Theron know the estimated cost of a short sword? A short sword? I'm. <sighs> I'm I'm checking for myself to see if I remember it. I believe it's ten gold. Short sword. Yeah, ten gold. Yes, home. Well, I mean, if you want a short sword, all I need is ten gold in materials. I want just ten gold. A long sword would run you fifteen. I think we'll go with the short. I'd rather get, you know, a bit close to my enemies. You can do that with a longsword, trust me. I'm just saying, I also carry a shield, too, so, uh... Oh, well, yeah. I say, with the shield on my arm. <laughs> do you want to, I guess, head back to the workshop? And, sorry, yeah, so you can just, just make it there? You could just do it there, yeah. Give it on, Sforic. You can also, uh, open with this cat problem. <sighs> well, yes, we all like having the cat, right? I do love Cog, that's fair. I was just being a bit of a dick. He was just glaring at me with his little eyes. Hmm. 
Go see if he's back. Give him a stupid one. Okay. Back to the workshop we go. The safe house. Yeah. As you guys are passing by, uh, close to where the inn is as you're on your way to the workshop, I need all of you to make perception checks. Uh... Okay. Okay. Yeah, standard for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so everyone but Cal. Cal's too small. Of course. He can't see it from, he can't see it from down there. All I see notice is asses. His... Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, you, you notice as you pass by uh, Redrix's smithy, uh, there is a sign on the door that says closed until further notice. Huh. huh. Curious. Wow, Theron, good job. You ran your boss out of business by leaving. Yeah. Yeah, he might be... He could be just heading back Is there, there. like, a window? <laughs> we just gonna sort of lining up on the bottom of the window, just peeking in. <laughs> yeah, no. is there, like, a window in the front? Can we, like, look in? <laughs> you guys can do that. Theron just gonna keep walking. Is there a window no, anywhere on this not building? all concerned for his former boss. Uh, the no, Frederick was a dick. <laughs> Up high. How high? Like, what would be considered like a second story. But it was a pretty open space on the interior. Baron, give me a boost. <laughs> Six foot person can't Why are we doing this? In the middle of the day. In a populated street. Mm hmm. Totally Look in a window. window. We'll say that we needed to see floor. if they're... We just need to see if Redrix is home. Maybe we could try knocking first? Yeah, there's also that. Oh, oh shit. That guy's all so boring. <laughs> no, it may be boring, said, but it's safe. No. It's safe. I, it doesn't yeah, arrest suspicion. As I said, Theron does not stop. He is going to keep going to the workshop. I get it. You thought your boss was a dick, but seriously? What are we doing? Are we just going to, like, knock on the door and run away? I remember doing that as a kid, that I was fun. Do well. I don't do well with confrontation. Omri knocks the door and then chases after Theron. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Cal just starts walking behind him, like, god damn it. Also yeah. follows. So okay. you're just leaving Sly? <laughs> She's leaving everybody. Darren left first. I mean, I'm just following Darren. <laughs> yes. Me, no, Darren Theron didn't leave first. Yeah, Theron didn't we're, leave we're, we're first. We're all he left just... behind. No, Theron didn't leave first. He never stopped. Well, there you go. So, Solania, as you're standing there, as everyone runs away, uh, <laughs> you hear I a few away. clangs on the inside. I will. Uh, and, you know, the sound of squeaks. Run, Solania, run! <laughs> and that's, that's all you hear. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Chase after the group. <laughs> okay. You guys keep making your way to the workshop and eventually arrive. Not much later. <laughs> Still locked? Yes. <laughs> Garrus will knock. Or we won't say anything this time. Right. Arcane casters get knocked, not fine. I'll be like, Swarek, uh, me and Theron kind of need in. Also, Army's going to give you the money for the cat. Yeah, because he didn't slide. mention it, I'm here too. <laughs> a a slide window about three and a half feet high <laughs> on the door opens. Also, the Omri, Omri, I was gonna say, Omri, as it's sliding open, she like reaches in her bag and pulls out a platinum and like slides it through. All right. 
Let's well, get in. Calican also needs to. You know, your, your debt has been paid. I take the platinum piece. Do you still need access to your tools to do that thing? No. You can just take 15 gold and will a sword into existence. I mean, it takes an hour. And then I unlock the door and open it. Garrus will step through if you're allowing him. Yeah. I mean, I'm 20 feet away, so there's nothing really I can do to stop. You're <laughs> <laughs> mage handing this. I mean, yeah, why wouldn't he? You can see that Sphoric is currently at a table uh, <laughs> working. Just, well, just looking kind of annoyed that we've interrupted him for the second time today. Were you here earlier, and you just didn't say anything? Yes. That's fair. Well, you did yeah. kind of do a thing to him that, you know... It wasn't exactly... on purpose! Well, he might have just been busy. Try be try to be more careful in the future. Yeah, yeah. I'll make sure to open weird things. And try not to steal from our employer as well. Yeah, that would also Shh. not be a good thing. You did what? <laughs> it's a long story, there. We'll tell you later. It also involves the splitting book from earlier today. You did what? <laughs> no. I was bored. And they left me alone at the mansion, so what else was I supposed to do? I don't know, go to like a fucking whorehouse or something. Don't Not go that. steal from my employer. That is just a waste of money. Do you hide? There was perfectly good wine there. I mean, social etiquette assumes when your host leaves their home. I will really have awesome. you know that his guards literally found me in the middle of thieving. And put me to bed. So, I assume he just kind of figures it was going to happen eventually anyways. So in a way, it does sound like you went to a whorehouse. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> I mean, if you look at it that way. Armory make a concept. Well, you said they took you to bed, so, I mean... Come on, I need to clarify. It. Damn it. Okay. Do I feel... The weird effects of drowsiness, and then I just kind of like stop it, or I just don't notice anything at all. You just don't notice it. Ah, shit. <laughs> we were out of the path of herbalist carry. <laughs> Could have gotten the fucking. Yeah, yeah, the herb carry. Herb carry. I couldn't say it at the time, and so just all the words came out. Now on every apothecary will be an herb carry. Herbalist carry, yes, thank you. Clip it, Joe. <laughs> One hour in. <sighs> hey, so on the actual point on why we came here, the thing, yeah. Emily, the, th the thing. I, I take it there, and it's just like sitting there, like staring at fifteen gold. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's been given fifteen gold. Oh, or ten, I guess, for sure. What do you have to do? You have to do. I want to see this. Garrus will be present for the entire hour. I want to see the process. Okay, okay, okay. So Garrus wants a short sword, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You giving him ten gold? I don't have the ten gold on me. I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying for other people's shit. I'm mm -mm, paid for the expensive ass arbor. I'm done. I mean, do we have 10 golds worth of extra materials lying around? There's also a good question. Josh, do we have 10 golds of extra materials lying around in this workshop? Roll a 1d100. Okay. <laughs> Garrus, you do it. <laughs> I'm just making it. You're the one who wants it. You don't want me to roll. <laughs> 54. You find 3 gold of scraps. Fuck. <sighs> I don't have to pay for it, but I will. Alright, 
I'll just supply, I'll, this back later. I'll just supply the rest and do that. Not to mention, we get to see if this actually does work. Not right. and not just Theron's blowing smoke. Yeah, it, it the, takes me an hour. And what oh, are the rest? Of he's probably you literally blowing hour. smoke. To do this. Anyways, as you were saying, Josh. What are the rest of you doing during this hour? Omri's waiting for them to finish since they're both very focused to tell the stuff she needs to say because she doesn't want to have to repeat it. <laughs> so she's just watching too. Svork is working on his project at one of the work tables. Okay. And after an hour, the coins and the metal all shape together, and a short sword forms. Hmm. Wow, impressive. Even though I get it back from the short or long rest. Huh. I don't know since I've had to use that. That was cool. Well, that's probably why Redrix wanted me around still, because I could do that. Mostly because most of the other priests of the Allhammer don't come out this far. Huh. Oh. Everybody in your order can do that? Not everybody, but a decent amount. I mean, <laughs> Dollhammer covers more than just the forge. All right, well, if you guys are done, I have some information, I guess, to pass along. <laughs> As Garrus is just playing with his new short sword. <laughs> I don't... Swarik, are you listening? Are you just working and listening? Or are you ignoring me? Yes. Alright, we'll roll with it. That's fair. Okay. Uh, so, the other night, Solani and I were paid a visit, and in the middle of the night, don't ask, it's happened many times since we've been here. It's very unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> I actually say that. <laughs> Pull out the platinum coin. And we were taken to a closet and in said closet we then fell many many feet and Very then, terrifying. yeah it was a little weird and then ended up at um essentially like an armory where we were then told of this sort of competition would that be the right word looking at Solania Yes. Yeah, it sounds about <laughs> right. Um, where essentially, if you win, comments. if you win said competition, you get um very. Well, you can kind of get anything. You can get like money or like powerful items. Apparently, all of you have been in contact with one of said items: fancy dagger. Made lightning. Um, so yeah, there are multiple, you know, categories. You can go in solo, duo. And then there was like a group one, which was like eight people, I think. Six people. Slania, how many people was it? Do you remember? I think it was like one, two, four, and eight. Yes. Yeah. So, you're missing yeah. the important part, Omri. I was trying to avoid that part. The important part. The people part. The people part. Yes, the yeah. people part. I just, I don't. I'm like glancing at Theron, like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think we should talk about the people part. <laughs> Might be best to not be keeping secrets anymore. Just a thought. 
essentially it's killing people, not good people, bad people, like very bad people, um, in a competition. And the more people you kill, at least in the version that we heard of, better you do, you kill the most people, you win. That sounds... Okay. It is uh, run, or at least patroned, I guess, in a way, by our good friend, who we all met, um, WD, and uh, yeah. Wait, no, I haven't. <laughs> I'm the one who doesn't. Oh do no, you it. got stuck outside. That's right. I right. didn't let you in. <laughs> well, well, I wasn't gonna have Saren go in yeah. anyways. <laughs> Uh, I so don't yeah. Know who that is, but okay. It's the person who's paying us for this job. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, basically, so whoever kills the most bad people wins. Yes. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the whole uh, killing for entertainment thing. That sounds like. I mean, I. I mean, I. I... I guess I understand the goal, but that seems morbid. And yeah, on top of that, though, maybe I'm going cuckoo, but uh, I also had, like, this weird dream thing last night and, um, you know, was told that winning would be very beneficial and that should we win, we would acquire something extremely useful to us. Who visited? It's kind of vague. It was just like voicey and ghosty. So in the sight. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll deception. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, oh mm. my god! If I literally have to roll higher than a one, I, <laughs> like I, or. Oh wait, no, that. I have to roll much higher than a 1. I'm stupid. I, I missed that, unfortunately. Oh! 19. So I'm, I'm not roll going to roll higher than a 6. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to roll insight, because I missed it, and so Theron just wasn't paying attention for that half second. Hmm. Garrus is like, I don't know what's fishy about that, but there's something there. I'm gonna just roll with it. Sure. So essentially... <laughs> Your dream told you to um, that winning would be beneficial for us, and that we should do this as a group. I mean, well, I've I've had dreams like that, kind of. So your yeah. dreams suggest team building exercises on the regular, Theron? No, 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 not like that. But the Allhammer does sometimes speak to me in my dreams. That's good for you. I mean, that's kind of how I figured out that I was chosen by him. I think. Anyways. Anyway, anyways, not, not, not important. Just need to know if any of you guys are interested. I mean... Cal, Thoric. I'm afraid we'll get some gold out of this so we're not poor. That yes, there is payment as well. Well, I mean, I guess it's people who haven't done much good, then it's They've better. done no good. Still... I don't like the idea of killing people for sport. I mean, killing bad people for sport. I can't say I've done better. It makes you think that they're bad. Yeah. That's also very true. Then again, they I've done that. could just be that. people trying to get the money like themselves. That's it's what this competition weird. sounds like. It's This sounds very familiar to me. <laughs> no, we're not killing other participants. We're killing... We're all killing, like, the same people. Prisoners. Mm. Hells for it, you should be on board. This is all run by, you know, your group. You say prisoners and Garrus is immediately, like, um... Mm, mm, it's immediately scrutinizing this, like... What type of prisoners are we talking? The bad kind? 
The ones that have done bad things, those kinds of prizners. Are we talking stealing a loaf of bread kind of prisoners? Or are we talking murdered several people and got away with the prisoners? The murdering well, clearly guy. They didn't, clearly they didn't get away with it. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> At this point, I would like to insight. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you inciting specifically? Omri? <laughs> I was about to say, I'm trying to think if she's Gary's? actually. I'm trying to think of how. Am, am I lying? Well, well, it's it's also because I, as a person, don't remember if you were told this or not. I uh, we were told it was prison. Oh yeah, okay. I yeah. Wait, no. I so part of this is a lie. Yes, I. There's no way I can beat a 25 because I have a plus zero. So you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you can tell that I'm not. They are prisoners, but like, not exactly specifying of whom. Yeah, so what you know, like, she she's telling you as close to the truth as she can get away with, uh, mm. but she's leaving out key details. Yeah, I'm not lying, per se. Live omission. Based on what you're telling me and what you're just playing, I don't think you, under you really know what these prisoners have done. Which, I mean... I They're not the city's that, prisoners. Well, I, I still suppose that some of them could truly be vile, but some might have just simply gone astray for reasons that could be seen as noble. Personally, unless we know what they are, I don't think that resorting to killing them just for monetary compensation is exactly just. Well, we can figure out what the prisoners are when we go figure out the rest of the details on this wonderful adventure we ha currently have going on. When did the hunter say the next like round was starting? He says it goes constantly. It just it, it just exists. Oh in yeah. Cycle. Yeah, she, she told you that the next, like, rounds go for two weeks, what she told you. Yeah. And that this one just started. Yeah, okay. Uh, which would have been, you know, two days ago. I relay also this information. Mm -hmm. That the prize doesn't actually get announced until the night before. Mm -hmm. the end of it. Cal, what do you think about this? I'm fine with whatever. Yeah, I'm fine with it, so long as we know the nature of the imprisonment. Sporic? Sounds like you only need four people. I'm just saying, you know... Uh, it's, it could be a it... good break from your project or whatever you're working on. If we go as four, we're leaving out two of you. Hmm. Which does mean that, you know, there's some missed opportunity for gold there and, you know, compensation. To be fair, I also feel like we have a better shot if we go in, all of us. Well, I mean... I just don't know who would use as the other two since it's eight. It's really weird. Why do you have to go... Is one, it eight? Two, four? Or was it just eight. two... Four, six, eight. No, because I remember afterwards going like, seriously, this shit had to go two, four, eight, and I was mad that it skipped six. <laughs> I mean, if yes, we're leaving, six. if we have to leave two out, who would we leave out? Well, clearly Sforic, because Grumpy Pants over here obviously doesn't want to participate. Well, he also does have... Did I say things. that? I mm. don't know, you sort of implied it when you were like, you only need four. So uh, it sounds like you only need a four. Well, no, then... One, two, maybe, four, eight. Then maybe the question to be more specific. Sorg, do you wish to do this or not? What I would wish is to buckle down and do our work and make money in a safer way so that we can eventually do the expedition. It sounds like everybody is in a hurry to get themselves killed if it means they get money in the process. I'm just saying that whatever we probably win in this tournament would definitely help us in the expedition. If we survive. 
You don't even know if we're gonna survive this job. It's literally the way it goes. Oh yeah, the better it's... job of surviving this job. We're going to be several blocks over when it happens. Yeah, we do seem to be. We do seem to be in better condition for this one. I don't know. Did whatever your dream said. Um. Did it just had to be this one? Yes, it was whatever we won from winning this tournament would be useful. I just thought of something, too. Hmm. If we were actually to do that tournament job, would that interfere with the current job we're currently doing? Wouldn't that be kind of a conflict in time frames of some kind? I mean, we don't even know the time frame on this job right now, because we don't yeah, even know when this parade's going to happen. Yeah, but I mean, if it, this this contest takes like a week or whatever and then you know the the parade is Wait. this day in the middle of it i don't think it's i don't think you have to go every single day i think they just last for a certain amount of time and you just try and complete as much as you can within that time frame i don't yeah, think they expect I mean, you to live down there for two weeks i understand that but at the same time do you really want to not spend every single day down there trying to get the most numbers that you can well, yeah, but our parade isn't going to take us, you know, it's a day. The parade only happens during one afternoon, so we just skip out on that one afternoon. I mean, I don't think we that'll... also... That's true. We also don't really know if, uh... How it'll go. I mean, we might have to flee town if it goes poorly. We don't even know how long mm -hmm. until this parade. This parade could end up being in two weeks. I'm not sure how fast they're able to set up a parade that involves the Margrave and Western. Also very true. I don't, I don't like think it's something that sets up in two days. We're waiting on Winston. He went to the Margraves yesterday. Day before yesterday. 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 He went yesterday. Days. Would any of us know the um, general calendar? Like where we are currently in the calendar? If there's anything coming up? In terms of events? Holidays. Uh, well, it's the beginning of summer. Doesn't really help. Any like important make events? Make a history happen? check. Make a history check as you look up the calendar for Taldori. Oh, I'm just making you do a history check. Just to Fourteen. <laughs> yeah, you're not sure of any events that come up. I don't know. <laughs> in in the summer. How about uh... you, Garrus? You got it. <laughs> nope. Garrus is like. Nah. Oh, well, Darren's got one more than me. <laughs> yeah, still. Damn. Yeah, yeah. If Theron <laughs> were to if Theron were to know anything, it would probably be uh, the dwarves. Yeah, yeah Theron would know that. Uh, hey, we went up one each. The uh, the dwarves call the everlasting day of fire. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it does happen on uh, basically the uh, longest day of the year. So but, the summer solstice. But is it celebrated here? No. Well, yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, Theron doesn't have anything useful. I'm pretty Swan, sure. you got any weird, anything elvish? Cal got anything halfling-ish? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Garrus only knows about the Day of Challenging. Yeah. Yep, that would be all that Garrus would know of. Uh, Cal doesn't know of anything. Swan, doesn't know of anything. Darn. Even the Joe only... doesn't know of anything. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing we got is that all is it. Is it... <laughs> The only the only thing we got is one that is not relevant to where we are. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the day of challenging doesn't even happen in Western. That's in Vaseline. So in we've got nothing to go on. So we literally can't even pretend to plan because we have absolutely no idea. So we just have to wait until mm -hmm. Winston's done his planning with the Margrave, which I don't even know Actually, how long that'll take. They do celebrate the day of challenging in, in Iman. They celebrate that in Iman? Oh, okay. You have a peak. You have piqued Garrus's interest with that statement. <laughs> and Mon is not Western. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no use to us right now. Yeah. So you know. Plus, the day of challenging is in the spring anyway. Yeah, so that's already right, passed. Whole another. <laughs> yeah, we're not so... waiting almost a year for. It. <laughs> yeah. we're not so waiting. if we participate in this little tournament thing, 
does everybody want to go? Do we section off and go as four? I mean, I'd be fine with going. Do we want to risk it for the biscuits and do a group of four and a group of two? Or if they allow us a group of six, probably take some I mean, persuading. I feel like six would be an extreme disadvantage to the groups of eight. Possibly. A group of six and a disadvantage to groups of eight? Hmm. Well, we, we don't exactly know the capabilities of the others that we would be competing against. Yeah. Probably know there could be a group of peasants in one group and a group of farmers in the other. Well, there could also I mean, be... the person who ended up winning one of them was that person who has that dagger that, you know, you guys all went after. And, uh... Oh, yeah. The one killed... That's... How many people was it? What did she tell me again? Like, 54? <laughs> like... Yeah, oh, like... It was, like, it was upwards of 50. This is an underground competition as well. I don't think they let anyone in. I mean, they let me in to that one fight. I twist the guy like. I gave you a coin. I and hold the coin up at Sporek like I have the coin. We're in. We have the invite. We just I, have to that's... go. That's not the point I was making. I was no. I was making was it's yeah. not going to be yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah yeah yeah. The groups aren't going to be Joe Schmo Commoner and his family. <laughs> Why well, gotta use my name? <laughs> Fine. Your name's Cal. <laughs> that was out of character. I would have Cal Schmo. Really? Because we were talking in character. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not gonna be Cal Schmo and his pals. Because it just first name that came to mind, Joe. I'm sorry, God. So there could Is there anybody well who be. doesn't want to participate? <laughs> God damn it, Joe. Well, it could be groups of six. It could just be making a sense of pattern. I don't know. It was very specifically told to me. Solo two, four. Eight, so I don't think going in at six is... I don't know. Gosh, can I make a two and two together? It's like, whether or not she was just incurring a pattern, or if there were just specific groups here. Sure. <laughs> so, I... Persuasion. Um... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, insight. Alright. Inciting the exact numbers told to me. <laughs> Inciting whether or not there is a pattern or just like. Nine. This is wow. This is not. They are numbers. <laughs> yeah. Them is some numbers, Captain. <laughs> um. When that rolls around, Garrus is going to be hitting high numbers. So I take it if nobody said no, everybody would be willing to participate? Mm-hmm. So yes. it's either go in as a group of six against eight, or do one group of four and a group of two, or a group of four and two people sit out. Or you can just find two more people to join us. Mm -hmm. Did we trust enough not to stab us in the back while fighting prisoners? Well, if they're on our team, then... Why would they stab us in the back? I mean, consider the people you work for, stabbing in the back is kind of a thing you do. Mm -hmm. Unless that's just a... No, it's not just a myriad thing. Um... People that stab the, their higher-ups in the back don't last very long. Oh Has anybody seen I... William, by the way? I guess that could be one. No. Who's William? Yeah, there's this one guy we met. I cared. I then Garrus thing. Well, and I met him at the party. William Sharp, the seventeenth. Raider of yeah. Dragon Chest, his great great grand family. <laughs> great oh. great grand family. <laughs> A lot more greats in there, but you know, I'm lazy. Interesting. Why do you bring so he, him up? He was around, helped out, then left. I don't know. We kind of know him, and he was good at what he did, so. 
mean, did you, did you push him away? That depends. Last I checked, he was following so, you. So, answer is yes. Did I physically push him? No. He was following you last I heard. Sphoric rolls his eyes in the <laughs> comment. I mean, I do go to the Church of Stormblood. I'm pretty sure there are people there willing to fight. That works too. But where sure, a bunch of holy it. people be up for fighting in an underground match? The the moment, they look over at Theron and Garrus like, I mean, they're two holy people and they're gonna fight. <laughs> yeah, but... He already fights in things like this, and he barely knows what's going on. I've been in fights like this, and that was before I was a, soul, I was a follower. Pretty sure I could convince some... No, followers have said, you know, God of fighting <laughs> to fight for a... And what if they decide it was dishonorable to fight prisoners and turned on the whole affair and decide to bring everyone to their flavor of justice? I don't That's think true, maybe he's mentioning it all up. right at the you know, you don't just walk in and go, hey guys, who wants to go kill people for money? Or, you know, duff. Think maybe, maybe you should you shouldn't underestimate people. I'm not underestimating people. I'm literally agreeing with we should maybe not just rush in mm -hmm. and, you know, yell out what we're doing. I'm of the mind of do you need to go back to bed, Sforic? Like, do 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 you want us to go so you can sleep here, or like? Whatever it is you do here by yourself, makes you look hard. Rumpy today. A chaotic neutral deity whose domains are tempest and war. Now a neutral deity. There's only one way to find out. I can always go over there and try convincing people. Fight for us. I feel like convincing is maybe not the way we want to go. I feel like we need to find people who would actually be inclined to do it on their own. Because if you have to convince someone into it, mm. probably a higher chance that they'll then unconvince themselves out of it. And then we just have problems because I highly mm. doubt that, you know, the upper echelon want you know everyone finding out about this and then that person will probably meet a less than pleasant end my josh from my day at the church would i have met some folks who would you know in garris's realm of fight fighting style i mean you you would have met some paladins you're not sure of paladins' capabilities, uh, but... Yeah, I think we should stay away from the paladins. <laughs> what about the nameless pronoun of a person you keep referring to, the one with the lightning dagger? Would they want to join us for this? Kind of stabbed They're the one so that got you into it in the first place? They kind of stab Solania, so I... Imagine. Well, you guys were trying to go after it. We're cool. You sure you're cool? I mean, you, you kind of get stabbed by them and then electrocuted. Solania's I just, mean... like, flashing back to, like, her really smug reaction to the dagger, like, nah, we cool. <laughs> I mean, the electrocution was just kind of a afterthought of the stabbing. I mean, that was, you know... Was it before or after you turned into a wolf and bit them? After. Okay, so that was after the wolf bite. <gasps> Omri's like, oh, wolves in Western. Now it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you in her head, like, like all uh... together. <laughs> <laughs> click, 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 yeah. click, click, click. <laughs> I mean, there's been plenty of other opportunities for me to be stabbed by them, so I mean, I think we're cool. 
I mean, yeah. She literally is, goes into our room when we're sleeping, so, you know. Yeah, I guess that's as good of an opportunity as any. Yeah. Right. Um. So you're close, is what you're saying. Uh, I think it's a willing coming. Do you know when a lost cat kind of comes in and then leaves for a few days and then comes back? But you still lonely. pet them and feed them? It's kind of like that. Yeah. Except without the petting and feeding, I'm assuming. Yeah. Very much so. Look at that spider. Oh yeah, and then we're being followed by a spider. That's fun. Or at least I don't well, I don't know who's being followed, but one of us is being followed by a spider. I'm not gonna assume me since it was in my bag. I feel like that's a safe assumption to make. Is it like still in the room? I don't know, is the spider in here? <laughs> Take a perception check. Nine Yeah, don't see it. It's fairly big, but from what I can tell. We're in the clear. <laughs> I just don't know how to get a hold of her. Sphoric, she's sort of a come and go as she pleases person. She didn't exactly leave me a card or a signal okay. of any kind, so, you know. You have any idea who she is then? Eh, kind of? Sort of, maybe. Could be coincidence. Yeah. Why don't you go confront this person? And if it turns out she is the same person as who you met before, invite her along. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could do that. That'll be a way to kill the time. I mean, y'all could go do that. I can go to my church to see if there's someone other than a paladin who would be willing to fight. <laughs> That's when Garrus comes back with like 30 people in tow. <laughs> yeah. If 30 people are willing to follow Garrus into battle, he'd be like, I'm setting up a mercenary company at this point. <laughs> 30 people is like a small company, in my opinion. Mm hmm. In which case, we could just enter them all as separate groups. I'm willing to bet they all have to have some sort of representative to the, uh... Mm -hmm. To the class. True. I mean, probably not that easy. Mm -hmm. I can at least go try. Hmm. Alright, well... Slani and I can go do our thing while you guys do whatever you guys have to do. Are we'll meet that up you back at the tavern time. tonight. Sure. All right. There and Cal, you guys want to come with, with the me? Garris and I say, just try to be discreet about it if you really have to. I mean, from what I've heard, I'll be more discreet than. <laughs> It's not exactly a high bar. Yeah, I'm... I heard that as she's leaving. <laughs> and then she comes back in real quick and goes, it's higher than you, and then leaves. <laughs> Good thing she said that to a... It's boring and not cow. <laughs> she's talking about I can be very discreet. <laughs> Seeing as how... Farron, you got anything planned? No, not really. I mean, <laughs> just kind of looks at what Sforg's doing. Looks back. No, because <laughs> that's probably really intricate. And Theron cannot help. I'll come with. So yeah, you're, okay. uh, you're, you're church going folk. I mean, not of the one that you're talking about, but okay. Yeah, I think you with these. Know your way around a church about as well as I do. Possibly. I've only I've only been to this place once. After a, a place of sleep. It's one more than I have.
anyone else before he starts walking towards the door. <laughs> Cal, do you want to come or you're good here? I'm fine here. Okay. You could probably help Svarig, whatever that thing is. If he wants my help, sure. You guys have fun then. See, when you're going with. Okay, Solani's going with Omri. Theron and I at the church. Y'all staying here? Alright, that was good. Yep. He sort of just slowly walks out the door. In my, in my head, it's like Garrus puts up two thumbs up and just slowly walks out. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. So who do we want to do? <laughs> who do we want to go to first? All of D2. In the order of events. Thank you, Tori. Say her name when she mutes herself. Huh? Huh? Yeah. I had thought I was muted, so then I <laughs> unmuted, <laughs> but muted myself. What do you What do you think? Roll a d two to see which group goes first in their interactions. Sure, I'll be one. Yeah, I'll be two then. You roll. Hey. Go first. <laughs> we always go first. I've just accepted this now. <laughs> Generally. We head back to the estate. <laughs> okay. So you head back toward the estate and you arrive there late evening or no early evening. Which rotation are are we still on humans? Still the elves. Or humans, yeah, sorry. Yep. <laughs> I was like, yeah, wait, what? Yep, yeah, nope, yeah, yeah humans. Yeah. yeah, I remember it's a daily rotation. Yeah. Yes. They do 24 hour shifts. Mm. Yeah. That must be so fun. Hey, guys. Any changes? Well, not since six hours ago. I just mean, is he back or no? Not since six hours ago. No, okay. Um, I sort of left something here the other night. Uh, I think whoever was on Sonia, who was on rotation in the front. I don't remember the names, but it was the Tiefling. Ah, yes. I believe that uh, Callista or uh, Tethryn might have ended up picking it up for me. Do you mind if I just head in make a deception check <laughs> did Slania help me enough <laughs> nope damn it <laughs> oof <laughs> shit <laughs> they look at you and then they share a glance with each other alright fine you got me I just want more wine You can't just ask to go inside. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Every other time, I've always needed a reason. Well, or I guess maybe a reason's been expected of me. Yes. Oh, well, do you mind if I go in? I don't care. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Let's go, Sonia. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. And they open the gate for you. <laughs> you go in. Wine is a reason. Yeah. Then again, that's also a reason to go to Lucasaur. All right. You go inside. Um. Would I know where the tieflings would be in accordance to the rotation? Are they like up on the roof? I think that's it, right? Uh, no. They would be 
somewhere unknown. Oh. As you do not know where the third party goes when they're on watch. Oh. Wait, no, hang on. Rotation. Yes, it would be on the roof. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was yep. like, I thought they went from front gate to the roof yeah. to somewhere else. Okay. I forgot, yeah, the elves were on the roof last yesterday. Yep. So, yes. Yes. If I look up, do I see? I'm guessing I probably see Callista and Tethryn up there. You see two figures, yeah. Do they appear horny? <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> it's both yes and no. If you, if you can tell that at a glance, you are superior at reading people. <laughs> Unless it's very... A passive insight. To 45. <laughs> I can literally see A. people. Yeah. A. <laughs> um. All right. Walk inside. Is okay. Jeeves home or did Jeeves go with uh? Oh, Jeeves went with him, I think, right? Yes. Please yeah. say yeah. Jeeves drives a carriage. All right. Um. How should we even do this? How do you want to do this? I'm not asking you, I'm asking Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't Krista! <laughs> hey, you want to go shank some bitches so I can get something good? <laughs> do we... I don't know how to bring this up. What if we're wrong and it's just coincidence? Which seems like a pretty big coincidence, but... Then... Just admit we're dumb and walk away. That's fair. That's completely believable. We do not have a great track record at this place. We have awful track record. Let's go. We already know kind of how to get up there. That's true. We make a pit stop at the wine cellar. No. <laughs> no. Aubrey <laughs> makes a pit stop at the wine cellar. I feel like at this point, Solani is done with all this shit. Just, no. Come on. It was really good. We didn't get to drink nearly as much. Because of Solania's accidents. Solania's really disappointed mom. Yeah. You didn't! Well, yeah, because I kept passing out. It was, you know, very unfortunate. I had a very nice hot bottle. Which hasn't happened today, so... Holy! I just remembered for last time! <laughs> he wrapped his half bottle. Yeah. Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? No, it's not. But it kind of does. Yeah, like, I, can, I, 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 I can see where you get it from. Anyways. Interrupting the scene. <laughs> Omri right. goes and is it unlocked still or was it locked? Wait, was the wine cellar locked or unlocked? No, it wasn't. It was unlocked. Oh, okay, it, she it's unlocked. She goes and takes two bottles from the wine cellar and puts them in her bag and then okay. leaves. <laughs> and then they explode. Sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> she also. Grabs a corkscrew on the way. <laughs> Takes that okay. too. Sure. <laughs> then heads up to the roof. You take the one corkscrew you can find in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> they took away all the rest because of the mysterious corkscrew bandit. <laughs> he totally has enough money to buy another one. Obviously. Come to find out it's his favorite corkscrew. Yeah, what could what could like a corkscrew cost? Like gold plated. <laughs> what what could a corkscrew cost? You know, like fifty platinum. <laughs> That's nothing to test, Wyler, right? All right. So, what do we say? Like, what we should for once before we do something, should we maybe consider what we're doing before we do it? Yes. <laughs> 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 I love I love Sassy Solani it just Yes <laughs> Think for one time please So how do we even bring this up? Like hey, have you been sneaking into our tavern room wearing a mask? Well that's creepy <laughs> Okay, have you do you like to dress in dark clothing, cover your face, and stalk people? Was that more or less creepy? I... 
why are you going that way with it? Why? I don't know. How how do you want to go? What way do you want to go with it? Uh... Do we want to just maybe avoid the whole, you know, Huntress thing and, like, just kind of flash the coin, see if they recognize it, and ask if they, you know, want to do something in their free time? I don't feel like there's any good way to bring this up. Well, exactly. That's why I'm asking you for help right now. You said you want to think this out, so let's think this out. Well, I said it. You confirmed. Anyways. Wolves arrest one. Me, I... (laughs) (laughs) Hey, have fun stabbing any wolves lately with electricity? I don't know. I feel like Slani is still kind of sore about that. No, I'm really not. I'm just excited that I got some hits in, honestly. (laughs) Slani is just in grumpy form today. (laughs) Do you want to just, like, transform into a wolf and go up there and see if we get a reaction? (laughs) See if she gets shanked again? (laughs) Oh, fuck, the wolf's back shanked. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, shit, wolves can climb. Stab it. You know what? Let's go with your first idea, because that one was awful. Okay, well, I'm, having, I'm just spitballing here, but, you know. So just direct confrontation. Hey, do you like to, you know, be a nightcrawler? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how else to... <laughs> I don't. I don't oh god! I just realized that Garrus <laughs> would have an easier time with this. It's like, do you like to fight for money? <laughs> do you want to just ask Alyssa to come down here and just like have a conversation? Sure. sure. Like Catherine should be able to cover one roof for a couple minutes. There's sure. Like two giant eagles descend off of the roof, killing him. Jesus. <laughs> we. Go up to the roof if we know how to get there. <laughs> if there's a logical way to the roof. Okay. You go up to the third floor and find a ladder that goes up. Oh yeah, that's right. We saw, we heard them come down when we had the gun go off. That's true. We go to the roof. You attempt to go up onto the roof and find the trap door is locked. I knock on it. Or, like, you know, upwards banging on it. Like, Callista! Tethred! <laughs> A few seconds later, the, the trap door opens. Tethred is just standing there, just looking at you. Like, what do you want? You're not supposed to be up here. I mean, they said I was just allowed in, so... In the house. You're not allowed on the roof. Oh, well, I'm not on the roof. I'm on the ladder to the roof. Uh, is Callista there? Yes. Can I have a word with her? No. Why not? Please! She's on I watch. Well, you're I'm on watch. Can you, get... you. Can you just, like, switch watches for, like, all of a couple of minutes and she'll be right back? <laughs> you're Come on, the in the spot places for five minutes. I know you can cover one singular roof for, like, five minutes. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> I swear to God, if I have to say it one more time. <laughs> I dropped 20. Oh. He gives like the disappointed dad sigh. Like. <laughs> ah. Fine. <laughs> Thanks, Tethryn. You're the best. You're my favorite, Melanie. <laughs> you owe me. <clears throat> and he closes the trap door. <laughs> sort of climb back down. <laughs> All right. I have no idea what I'm supposed to say. What do I say? Do I just confront her? <laughs> hey, should I mention totally something about like that? Should I totally mention something about the dead husband, Steve? If she tries to punch me again. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Long as, just like stop being stupid. <laughs> stupid. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, I love you, but stop being dumb. Please. I'll tell you, that's going to be my last resort, in... by the way. The thing that popped into my head was drink your wine and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's right. the bottle. Be quiet. About five minutes go by. Oh, shit. And the trap door opens again. And Callista climbs down the ladder. She looks at hey. you directly, Omri, and just like, what do you want? Uh, <laughs> look at Sly, Elia. So, we need help when? with the tournament thing. We think you can help. Please! What she Why said? Why would I be able to help? I'm on guard duty. Not now. When you guys have free time. You must obviously have free time. I have one day every three days that I'm free. Which is tomorrow, which, if this isn't a pressing matter, could have waited. It's semi pressing. Well, why do you visit us all the time then? Damn. Yeah. All right. Go for it. Because <laughs> I win not... as well. <laughs> this is going to end horribly. <laughs> Keep going, I... it's all you now. <laughs> what do you mean visit you all the time? I have never visited you. I work here. Two days in a row. 48 hours straight. My third day, I like to take time to myself. Do we believe her? <laughs> I'm worth a coin! I pull out the platinum coin and show it to her. Does it cause any reaction? She looks at it and she's like, why do you have a large piece of platinum? Alright, we're done. Did I believe her 48-hour deal? Make an insight check. Oh. Oh. That's depressing. Look at that. Look at that green. Look at that red. Why? She seems to be telling the truth. Hey, Calista, what do you think about dead husbands? Oh, my! <laughs> I literally couldn't stop myself from saying it. It just happened. No, no. I, I, I appreciate your dedication to the character. Because <laughs> that's something Omri would do. I know. Yeah. She just gets impatient. Just, yo, what happened to your husband? Did he die? <laughs> I'm sorry, did your <laughs> husband pass away recently? Huh? No, have you ever had a dead husband? <laughs> Husbands are kind of assholes, especially when they forget things important, so I don't know, I was just curious. I've just sort of been on a roll. <laughs> you sound like you're speaking from experience. Are you okay? <laughs> are, you, are you married? I, are you having an affair? No, you! Have you ever had a dead <laughs> husband that like, passed away? Throw her! Like, cover her Omri's mouth and be like, This has been a huge misunderstanding. I am so sorry to waste your time. <laughs> away, away, go away, run. <laughs> I'm just, she pulls Solania's hand away. I'm just curious, have you ever had a deadbeat husband that was completely worthless and useless and you just kind of were really happy that he's gone? And she kind of <laughs> just keeps going. I feel like this guard is hyper worried I... now about Omri's health. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> You I think she's just trying to provoke her. Well <laughs> enough to ask about my personal life. Like that. Is there any underlying angry tones to that? <sighs> Other than like annoyance? <laughs> she seems quizzical. <laughs> like the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah. So I'm gonna kind of just kind of grab Omri's arm and like try and pull her back. It's time to go. Come on. All right. Thanks for your time, Calista. Sorry. Uh, whenever Winston gets back, can you like let him know to send a messenger or something so I don't have to keep coming back here and bugging you guys? Because I'm sure you know <laughs> you're all enjoying that. Um... Not anymore. Yeah, that's. 
Wow. Sorry. Jeez. My bad. <laughs> now you fucked up. <laughs> I'm glad I brought cleric. <laughs> I'm glad I brought Theron with me. Hopefully. Know. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your watch. Sorry for bugging you. <laughs> we leave. <laughs> Okay. This was a bad idea. Why did... What? I don't know. He said it. I just went along with it. Who cares? I, I mean, just, whatever. But I mean, like, it's true. I don't know why we even considered, even if it was her. How did she even find the time to come visit us if she's technically always on guard duty? That was a good one, man. That was a good one. <laughs> I found a better one that doesn't have the subtext, but continue anyways. So, you know. I don't know. Maybe it was just coincidence. Alright. Now to the guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Better time Did doing this. Much more successful than us. <laughs> Possibly. Mm -hmm. Probably. Hopefully. So, which temple are you going to? Stormlord, because when you have a domain of war, uh, there's gotta be I, someone I, in there willing to fight for you. I, yeah, I think that temple will probably be bigger than the Temple of the Allhammer here, if there even is one. All right. So you go to the Temple of the Storm Lord. And you go inside, and it's a calm day. Nobody seems to be stressing over anything. Mm hmm. So we're just fine. Uh, one of the clergy, one of the uh, people in charge. You know, he's sort of well, and... Okay, yeah. And Garrus is like, um,. Are any of the... He would go to one that he knew from the last time that he came in. Feel free to give that random NPC a name. Okay. Of like Steve or something. And be like, uh, from last I was here, is there anyone in particular who is of the sellsword variety? Oh, is, also, it is a pleasure to meet you again. Are you assuming that Knights of the Storm Ward are sellswords? I'm just asking if there are any of your um, congregation that would be willing to help with a problem that I can't quite solve on my own. Oh, of course we're willing to help with problems. What is your problem? I mean, I'm not... You guys in particular, members of your congregation. Well, Anyone it's particularly we know awful? what the problem is, so we can send you to the expert in that field. It's mainly... I have been contracted to do some work... What kind of work? The kind that requires the uh, delicate touch of a sword and maybe an axe or a dagger. Anyone in your congregation particularly fits and able to do that sort of work? Well, we have a few knights that use swords and axes and daggers. Mm hmm Each of them is skilled in their own rights. Uh, is there... Are we looking for, like, cutting a fabric with a dagger? Chopping trees with a... This is more of the more violent sort of get rid of a problem for a local peasant sort of thing. That sounds like a problem that we should deal with. Uh, where's the problem located? We'll send a bastion immediately. Uh, only like I, I only need two to come with me. 
I'm not talking well, of I'm... your knighthood. I'm just of your congregation. Is there someone you know who happens to, you know, Joe Schmo from across the street? Who would be willing I, to... I have a few knights that are available to take care of you. Should I send them? Any non-religious types? You know, the, um... I'm trying to be delicate uh, here without trying to offend you. You have not yet offended me? I'm glad we're on the same page for now. Oh. It's, it would be nice, uh, mm -hmm. as for me not to offend you, uh, if you could so kindly tell me where your problem is located, and I will send a bastion to deal with it. Don't really need a bastion. I don't need... <sighs> don't need a bastion. It sounds like a small enough problem that the guards should be able to deal with. The guards aren't really being very helpful. Um, actually, that gives me a good idea for someone I could talk to. Theron, follow me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I, Bye. I will be right back if I require f further assistance, but I have an idea for how I can solve my problem. Thank you. He sort of just grabs Farron by like dollars, <laughs> like hey, we're leaving. We drag him to wherever he thinks pitches. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys go to the guard outpost to find Pitch. Is Pitch currently on duty? Pitch is currently on duty. All right. And he sees the two of you come inside, just like, hey. Hey, sup, bitch? Uh, what was that? <laughs> yeah, that totally sounded like <laughs> sup, bitch. <laughs> um, guys, no, you I might said, want to speak a I little said, slower. I said, "What's up, bitch?" Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, my uh, hearing must be shot a little bit from the voice. How can I I'm help? Sorry. You? Um, if you're free after your shift, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to. Uh, Hang out? Probably make a little extra coin? Yeah, I, I could do that. can always use a side mm. job. My shift ends in about four weeks. I'm sorry, what? Shift ends in about four weeks. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought he said. Fuck. <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <sighs> I think it's easy for me, man. Mind. It was... It was more my line of work, the uh, sort of a prize fighter kind of work. Prize fighter? Do you know over an arena? I know of one. The only one I know of is back in Amman, and it sounds like a long doctor. Only my two days off. <laughs> wow, it's two days off in uh... four weeks. Fuck. I do not envy you, I'm going to be honest. It's a thankless job. Uh, do you I... know anyone currently free who would be willing to... I'm more just looking for partners, because doing it solo it doesn't really get as much draw. I mean, it yeah. sounds like you'd have better luck at the arena. Yeah, that's True. I don't know of anybody that would want to travel all the way out. I mean, it's not. It's not. Come back in the same day. Or it's not necessarily a long way to go. Arena. I don't really know if anybody that wants to take the time to do that. But at the same time, there could be somebody that's willing to travel and maybe earn a little bit of coin and perhaps. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, you could probably find a bum off the street that knows how to wield a sword. Bum <laughs> off the street. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grandpa Harold, you want to wield a sword? <laughs> I haven't wielded a sword since the war, but sure, sonny. I mean, just give me five golds and some you know whiskey. Any, um, you know any locals who are fairly capable? Well, I mean, when there was a time that the dragons attacked uh, around about 20 years ago, there was a slight rebellion that came up that did try mm -hmm. to handle that dragon, and but they are dead. Do you know anyone currently living that is fairly capable 
Well, I mean, yeah, they're part of the guards. Who's not currently enlisted in the guards? Maybe a plucky uh, recruit? I mean, you might be able to find a bum off the street when knows how to use a sword. It's Theron, is your uh, employer fairly capable? Uh, I mean, he was. Then he broke his knee and his arm and his other leg. I thought you were just going to stop at knee and just make it the meme. Could have just stopped at the knee. You could have just said he used to be an adventurer until he broke his knee. What? No, he was never an adventurer. He was just on the guard in Vaseline. Or not in Vaseline. That's the wrong place. Craghammer. Why did I think Vaseline? I just don't go there. Alright. How about... But, no. How about you ask uh, your uh, employer? Yeah, he's not going to. How do you know? Because you can't find him. <laughs> I mean, I've spent a long time with him. He's not going to. Too much effort. In the case, you just want to find two bums off the street who can help us? I mean... <laughs> huh. <laughs> and if possible, maybe maybe we could uh, keep employing them? Start up a little company? I got an idea here that may or may not lead to a future venture where we don't have to make a lot of money. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, we don't know how well the other two are doing, so... I don't want to uh, rush ahead with plans if they've already set something up. I'm just wondering, uh, d d that's just a future idea, but in the meantime... Garrus will go find some capable enough hobos who are willing to do some work. Or just anyone capable. Oh, okay. Where in the city are you looking for hobos? Or oh just my like... god. Hold up a sec. <laughs> this is... Where's the most violent district? <laughs> this kind of makes me feel better that they're not doing much better than we did. I know, I'm at like, damn, okay, damn. The direction. Hell, at least we didn't try and hire the good guys and then proceed to then hire poor <laughs> people, so. Listen. At least we're making progress in a direction. Hey, hey. <laughs> I was suggesting to not do that. <laughs> and then Garrus goes and does it. Hey, at least we're making progress in a direction. With Theron no, off the top of his head, I'm just asking Ryan as character, with Theron no of anywhere where there would be particularly a I large amount of... of homeless people? Yes. <laughs> They're guessing um, usually around places. Or usually around places where they offer, you know, lodging... Not necessarily lodging. Well, uh, well, the thing is that Theron probably wouldn't. No, Ther Theron wouldn't. But like, combine. I'll, I'll, I'll speed this process up a little, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, your collective <laughs> mind can probably assume anywhere that throws out food is probably a yeah. good place to find <laughs> homeless people. <laughs> Our collective mind. So you know, Garrus is in mind like one brain cell. They need to eat sometime. Oh, right, yeah, duh. Yeah. Food! I guess we'll let's... go looking. And Garrus will assist our capability because he's a gladiator. And he's okay. used to let's fighting go, among go. slaves. Yeah, let's and, and you guys your... would know, like, exactly. You, you would know <laughs> of a place that Omri has mentioned before. Yeah. <laughs> that you're assuming goes through a lot of food and then throws it out. Yeah. Early enough in the afternoon that a lot of can go. probably good food too, so that's where they mm -hmm. want to congregate. Huh. Maybe we should go to that breakfast place that apparently the, 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 our employer took Omri to. Oh, so that entire day of fucking about actually was useful. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if useful is the word, but 
Sure, we'll go with it. Insightful, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Let's go. Alright. As we All right. make our way over there. Yeah, you make your way to get yoked. And since it is late in the evening, the restaurant itself is closed. Actually, it would have been right. late in the evening for them. It would be early in the evening. Uh, but it's a breakfast joint, so it's still definitely closed. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you do see a few back alleys that kind of is... behind the restaurant. Then, of course, go to search said back alleys, because this feels a bit too close to home for him. <laughs> sure, make an investigation check. I will give you advantage. I think we both have the same check to investigation anyways. Hey. Yeah, we do. <laughs> what do you know? Growing up fighting in back alleys actually proved to be useful. Alright. You find a small crowd of people that are just kind of leaning up against one of the walls. Uh, a few small children. Uh... Say all in all, you find probably nine people gathered together here. Mm -hmm. Let's make the children fight. No. <laughs> no, let's not do it. No. Aside from the. <laughs> yeah, no, that's like. like children. Yeah, they'll, they'll probably get us thrown in the arena as criminals. Yeah. Excluding the children, any of yeah. them look fairly capable. I mean, you do see, like, a middle aged man. Out of the. All right. Sort of walk, sort of walk up and be like, "Hey, I'm been in your situation. Uh, not this." He'd be like, I'm "Gonna wait before, I'm gonna think before I speak in character." Do you want me to help you think about what you're going to say better? That would probably also help. Okay. Eagle Splendor. All right. Thank you for that one as hour you... of advantage on Charisma Checks. Uh, wait. As you approach him and okay. begin to speak, and then Theron starts casting a spell, this guy panics and runs from you. Ah, damn it. Hey, relax, relax. Uh, fuck, I gotta do this. Uh... One second. I have I have higher con now. I can run for longer. I think it's only one dash more, but I can do it more. Before he gets out of range, I'm just gonna be like halt, cast command. How far is that range though? Sixty feet. I have. Surely he can't get that far. We don't know. Well, he does dash, so he's yeah. 60 feet away. Okay, so he's just calls. within range. Okay. Uh, what's your DC? Doesn't matter, he failed, and he stops moving. All right, he's like, just listen, before I, uh, before you run in, I have a business opportunity for you. Sorry, yes, I, didn't, I didn't mean to scare you. All right, my large friend over here can be quite intimidating. <laughs> not, not gonna say anything. <laughs> so if you would please come back over here, that'd be great. Make a persuasion check, and Theron, make an intimidation check. <laughs> Yeah, that's a four. <laughs> Is not... the ability currently active? Yeah. Yeah. It's only one action. Uh, 15, because proficient in persuasion. Yeah. Plus five. <laughs> I'm proficient yeah. in persuasion. That's why it's a flat roll. He slowly comes wandering. <laughs> As he realizes the giant is not that scary. 
He does right. stand 20 feet away from me. Oh, okay. That's right. fair. Just like, I have a business oppor- opportunity. If you, you know one other person who would be willing to make a little extra coin by wielding a sword, that'd be great. He looks between the both of you and starts making motions with his hands. Could you please speak? Or can uh, you? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's near. Are you mute? He nods. Okay. Huh. That's sad. Yes or no? Give me a head shake, yes. Head shake, no. If he, if you know one of the person who can wield a sword, he nods his head. Is that in the yes direction or in the no direction? The it's nods. In the no direction. Oh. Sorry, oh. he right. shakes his head. My bad. Gotcha. Gotcha. Shakes his head, no. Are the others still around or have they scattered? The others are still there. Okay. Do. Is there any. Uh... Anyone else willing to make a little extra coin? Willing a sword? Or mace or something? They all shake their head no. I mean, this is gonna be like several gold at least. It'll be enough to get like a room and maybe some food, hopefully. They all hold up their hands, and you can see halfway up their fingers are all cut off. Oh! That! (laughs) Huh. That's bad. Yeah. What happened? What about the new guy? You you know that one of the laws of the city is if you get caught stealing, they punish you by chopping off a portion of a finger. Oh, that's mm-hmm. what. Uh... What about our mute friend? His hands still intact? Oh, his his fingers are the same way. All of them here. Fuck. All, all oh, oh, I thought you meant all of his fingers. No, mm-hmm. they're all missing right above the first knuckle. Just gonna walk away. Huh. <laughs> Just, oh, okay. Sorry for bothering you. Theron's, Gary sort of says, like, Theron, no wonder Red, Red Deer had so much trouble making money here. What? Yeah, my mentor, he was a fighter like I, and we had trouble making a bit of money here last time we were here. Oh. Long okay. Story. In this, for the sake of brevity, I'm just gonna ask the DM if I can just roll a general investigation check to come up with better results than this. Sure. Why is it? On the unnecessary rolls, I get a 20. So you do find a few people that don't have their fingers cut off. Uh, but none of them seem willing to pick up a sword for your unknown guns. Okay, so no one's willing to... A... If he elaborates further on what we're doing... Does it help persuade them? How much are you telling them? Generally that it's... a little bit of fighting. Not a whole lot. They're generally bad people who deserve it. And... that they would be helping a paladin of the storm lord enact some justice among some 
deserving folks. All right, they all tell you no. Naive persuasion. Nope. All right. Well, at least we made better <laughs> progress than hopefully Elmer and them. Well, we don't really know until we find them. Mm-hmm. All right, cutting back to Omri and Solania. You two have just spoken with Callista. What's your next move? <laughs> we don't have this was the only move. <laughs> Walk out, Calista gets a nat 20 and somehow shoots Garrus from halfway across the city. <laughs> Even though she's not the one that has a problem with him. I mean, we could just kind of wait. We've kind of made a fool of ourselves. So, I mean, she'll probably hear about this and be like, dude, the hell. <laughs> um. <laughs> we'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture your army like pacing and just chugging the wine as, she, as you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're drinking leaving. Drinking and walking, drinking and walking, just yeah. like what do you All right, we're leaving. Fuck this shit. Oh my god, okay, she's not gonna get drunk off the one bottle of wine. I, yeah, the big no, girl. She, yeah, yeah. She, she's a. She's a hardy woman. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, when shit. we get to the to the guards at the gate, I put the wine bottle away. Oh god, sorry. <sighs> okay. Um, and as we leave, I will ask them. Um, do you guys know anywhere that we could find people who might? Fight for money. You mean like the gladiators? Well, the ones that you guys don't, you know, keep to yourselves. Yeah, unless I can borrow them if they want. If you can find a gladiator, you know a gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> I just hey, mean like, where do you one. guys, you know, find people for? Winston's little gladiator pit. Which one? The monster one, not the people one. Usually they find a coin. <laughs> yes, let's repeat the beast. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out the coin, like this kind of coin. No, that's a you have to be given one of those. <laughs> Let's recruit Put it the away. Beast. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I uh, recruit the uh, Displacer Beast? <laughs> I think the monstrosity, not a beast, so you can't get a read on it. <laughs> no, sadness. Um, <laughs> and I can't talk to it. But yeah, they just, you guys, what, just have those scattered around the city? Winston never really explained. Wait, did Winston ever explain how that worked? His, like, monster fighting pit? Why don't you guys just go out into the Bramblewood and recruit, like, some wolves or something? <laughs> Hell yeah! I mean, we could try. We got some animal companions. You're a ranger and a druid. I know, if anyone could do it, we could, but chances are we'd still fuck it up. Yeah, although I think it's funny. Yeah, I can talk to I can talk to animals. Now would be a good time for me to be with the ranger subclass, huh? <laughs> Or the ranger subclass, Jesus, hunter. Not hunter, beast master. <laughs> oh, that was hard. That was a, that was a trip. Um, I, I am a ranger ranger. I'm a ranger ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I ranger but yeah, did, shit uh, out of those rangers. Did Winston ever, like, kind of explain how his, like, monster fighting pit worked? Other than people just, you know, stumbling down that hole? Um... Not really. I asked the guards then. Again, do you guys just leave those coins scattered around for people to find, or...? 
The copper ones, yeah. Really? Oh, wow. I mean, Must suck for are. the unsuspecting. I thought those were gold. The one I gave to Garrus was iron. Oh, iron, yeah, sorry. <laughs> My bad, yes. That's a huh. fucking heavy coin, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes. It's the weight of the decision. <laughs> you could kill someone with a coin like that. Well, do you guys happen to maybe know of a place where I could find people that would be inclined to do such a thing? The fighting. In the arena? Yeah. Oh! Right, because there were survivors, right? Yeah, not everyone dies, I don't think. Any of the other gladiators that, you know, didn't die, or just, even just in general in the city, if you know a place where you can, you know, hire people to fight. Make a persuasion check. Okay. I didn't realize I had to force them to tell me this. Three. <laughs> Frick. Well, it's more or less if they, like, believe your intentions. But, but it's- but that's what I'm looking for! I'm not lying! I want to find people to hire them to fight! <laughs> These are my intentions! I'm literally saying what I intend! Well, yeah, but it's more or less like if, if they think you could like go through with it. If they think I'm gonna go through with hiring people to fight things, yeah, I will. I promise. <laughs> Most of the time, the gladiators will either continue to fight in the pits or die. I don't know of anybody that's retired and wants to go back. All right. And then anything. Clearly, they haven't met Garrus. Anything you know, mercenary related in Western that I could you know find? I mean, there's mercenaries at a lot of the inns or adventurers, or it's not uncommon to find people just wandering around in armor. And I know, swords. but I'm on a bit of a, well, kind of a time crunch, so I'm just wondering if maybe you knew of any specific places where they're, you know, more in abundance or not. Like I mean, a specific would... part of town or a specific inn? I feel like all of them. Okay, this is clearly, okay. Enjoy the I rest mean, of your I, watch, guys. <laughs> I, I don't get to leave very often, I don't know. Yeah, I know, I hurt once every, like, three days. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a- it's a life. Do you guys get paid well, at least? Like, do you have, like, a solid retirement plan going on? <laughs> well, I- Give a 401k, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Is like, Army looking to enlist? Feel like working 48 hours straight to then have one day off, I hope at the end, like, you at least come away, like, pretty set. <laughs> Winston pays us about 500 gold a day. Jesus, oh, Jesus Christ! Huh. We are in the... Oh, we are in the wrong business. Hey guys, you want to live in Western forever? <laughs> no. No, I know. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> no, because none of us match. Mm -hmm. That's true. Got, yeah, Winston's got this matching thing going on. None of us match. We're all different races. The closest would be like Sforic and Cal. <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. All right. Well, Even uh, though not really. Hope, you know, you guys are being smart with your money. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. We're gonna go. Enjoy the rest of your watch, guys. Bye. I feel like it's gonna be like we meet back up. And it's just like, god damn it. <laughs> can we take, like, a five minute break? Because I really have to pee. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. That's fine. Okay, thank yeah, you so much. That's what, I just, that's what I just finished doing. Because it was like, I'm yeah. not talking here. Yeah, we'll, we'll meet back up on the, the hour. Alright. It's now clear to me that Omri and Garrus are in completely different positions where the opposite would be beneficial for the other. 
Right. Had Garrus met Winston first? I feel like this should be a completely different conversation. Maybe. Maybe not. Then again, it would probably be like him trying to undermine Winston to a degree to, you know, lessen his uh, gladiator population. I mean, yeah, I, I feel like this was hinging on somebody being part of the class who wasn't Spark. <laughs> it's also funny, it's like, I've never met a gladiator who retired and then wanted to go back into fighting. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I almost died here. Yeah, let's do it again. Or is that was Garrus's life for like several years, and it's yeah. like it's the only thing he really knows? <laughs> Meanwhile, with Spork and Cal. <laughs> I just picture Sport tinkering with the bomb and Cal tinkering with his guns. I don't even think they're gonna get cut to us. Yeah, I know. It'd just be like awkward silence while working on separate projects. I don't think it would be awkward. Just silence. Mm -hmm. It'd be like a comfortable silence. Yeah. Just doing what they're doing what they like to do or we're assigned to do. Sorry about that. For all we know, Cal's uh, could be working on fixing his uh, shotgun right now. Yeah. Making it more cow sized. Exactly. I might actually see if. That, yeah, that's probably what he's doing. <laughs> Make it a bit easier to hide. And I just sent you a. Or at least carry what, around. The type of short sword that I picture Garrett's oh, wheeling out. Gladius. <sighs> yeah, okay. uh, Gladius. It so much. Sort of just makes sense for him to be willing to do yeah. Welcome back. I, yeah, I kind of pictured that his motif was kind of Roman esque. It's a little bit Roman, yeah. What with what with looking like a marble statue. It just looks like someone put Roman armor on a statue. The helmet, of course, because the helmet does not help with the braids. Yeah. Somebody went hit animate objects and then awaken on a <laughs> on a statue. Animate objects is such a dumb spell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, these ten gold coins are gonna wreck your shit. Oh my god, awaken up an animate object awaken on the gold coins. They're sentient coins. <laughs> I mean they still like <laughs> after the awake or after the animate objects were off, they wouldn't be able to. Also, awaken does specifically say target beast or plant. But if you could like, oh, if you could awaken a set of coins, that'd be dope for espionage. <laughs> that would be kind of great. Send a sentient coin into somebody's pocket, just like keep it eye on them. That would, that would be kind of great. Yeah, <laughs> message or sending. Yeah. I would say that's what you get coin mimics for, but no mimics and monstrosities. You can't awaken. Man. Enchant kind of coin cool to be like a possession will send back information on what they've been doing for the last 24 hours. I mean, at that point, you basically just use a scrying orb, orb focus. Mm -hmm. I think you get a kick out of the new Encode Thoughts spell from Ravnica. <laughs> Encode Thoughts? That will basically just be fair. Uh, yeah, I saw the picture and I'm like, oh, that's a that's an edgy lab right there. Kind of looks like Doom Saibot, yeah. A little bit. You can see why I thought he looked like Doom Yeah, Saibot. yeah. I'm just like, yeah, he doesn't really use chains, though. Mm. Yeah, although, yeah, in the new game, he does have, like, those kind of sickles. It's mainly 
need sickles. Yeah. Yeah, the sickle and the general kind of darkness design. There's a copy of Inverted Thoughts for you, because it's actually a... I, I like to think it's an interesting spell. Oh. <laughs> Dowers, you can make a, a memory idea or message from your mind into a tangible string. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, it's a cantrip, too. Yeah, it's a cantrip that lasts eight hours without concentration. No, I'm kidding. While concentrating on a... You can ca if you cast a spell while concentrating on a spell or ability that allows you to read or manipulate the thoughts of others, you can transform the thoughts or memories you read. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, yeah, yeah, so you can just pull it out and then just... <laughs> And then just cast it again. You just get that get that memory. Mm -hmm. Casting the spell while holding a thought strand allows you to instantly receive whatever memory idea or message the thought strand contains. Jesus. Actually really good. But very situational spell. Okay. Has everyone returned? Ah. Yep. So, Mike, you here? Yes. I assume that means Mike's alive? Yes. I just haven't heard from Ryan. I forgot I was muted. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Is it might just be like within sight lines of each other or of something? Course. Okay. So we Are you guys like on opposite up? rooms? Like within sight lines or something? No, I'm upstairs, he's downstairs. I just assumed you guys are like in opposite rooms across from a hall within sight lines of each other at all times. That'd be creepy. <laughs> it would be. All right, so are you all reconvening at the workshop? Uh, is it like getting pretty late or? Yes. Tavern. Yes. Okay. Right. I mean, does somebody still not have safe house privileges? No, but that's what we said before we left was that we were going to meet back up. Yeah. At the tavern. All right. So you guys go back to the tavern. Oh, any luck on your end? No, you. Really? Uh, all right. Well, guess we go to the next step that sh probably should have been sort of along our first step, which was maybe just hiring mercenaries or other, you know, adventurers. I, mean, do I don't we have know why we money didn't. for that. Well, they'll win money. It's not like. Yeah, you know, for me, it's not like I could find other people like me very easily. Yeah, most of the people that fought for Winston are, you know, still fighting for him or, you know, dead, so. Mm hmm Yeah, because God forbid somebody finds a retired gladiator out in the open. Are Cal and Fork back? Has anybody seen them? Are they here? So we didn't know. see them. Just that assume they're at the workshop, right? I uh, that's what can probably be reasonably presumed. Zorik has something he's working on and Cal's either helping him or doing his own thing. Alright, well I guess we what can just would Cal, would you be doing your own thing? Or would you be helping us for it? Well, for a while, he'd probably be doing his own thing. Okay. Uh, so I need both to make your own checks with your tools.
My bad, shouldn't have had advantage. So, 15, not 25. Okay. That's, that's still high enough. Um, yeah, whatever you guys are working on, you get done. Oh, good. No. So I was modifying my shotgun to make it a little uh, more compact and easy to carry. Sure. Yeah, you do manage to uh, adjust it so that it's either going to be short or actually the barrel uh, can, like, concave itself. <laughs> That's cool. Collapsible barrel. And yep. after uh, we're, cool. we've been working for a while, I'll come over to Cow and put uh, five shotgun shells down in front of him that are have all been painted white. Interesting. Go ahead. What are these? It's a modification on a glue bomb. They're glue bullets. Stop. You, you shoot them at people. It uh, covers a 20-foot radius area. And they get stuck in a layer of glue restraining them until they're able to break free. Nice. Thank you. Sure thing. And here's the stats on those. Just replace bomb with bullets and the range with the effective range of your shotgun. That's fucking cool. It's a dope <laughs> thing. Yeah, that's going to be real useful. If he ever <laughs> uses a shotgun. That's true. Mm. <laughs> he hasn't used it yet. In public. That's true. Well, now you have a reason to use it. <laughs> I mean, he's got a gun, too, and he needs to use it once. Some people will fuck away with a shotgun. No, I mean... <laughs> Stop running away, damn it! <laughs> Alright. As you guys are sitting in the bar... And before Sporic and Cal get back, Solania, mm. you notice at the bar, there seems to be an older gentleman sitting there. And he takes a drink from his ale, and as he's drinking, he falls backwards off of his seat. <laughs> <laughs> and then he begins to hear or see the fall. You hear it when he hits the ground. You hear the thud. And as you all look over to see what happened, you see him shaking violently. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Hey. Um, we want to get involved here. I want to go over and do a medicine check. Okay. He's having like a seizure or something. Yeah, you can. You rush over to him quickly. Go ahead and make your medicine check. Yeah, Theron would make his way over there as well. Seven. <sighs> He's shaking okay. violently. Um, yeah, I, I guess all is to give him a quick once over as well. Okay. 25. Yeah, he seems to be having a seizure. Okay. Um, I almost said stroke. <laughs> those are much different. <laughs> those are much different. One of those is generally fatal. One of these things is not like the other. I'm going to attempt to just dump, like three points of lay on hands into the guy? <laughs> sure. You dump three points of lay on hands into the And he keeps shaking violently. Okay, but with that 25, does it seem like he might be poisoned or anything? Or can I not tell? You, I mean, you're not guessing he's poisoned? Okay. You, you're more just noticing that he's having a seizure 
and that you don't you you're able to figure out there's not really a way to stop us. You have to. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> just. Garrett's just could uh, he's having a seizure. He'll be fine in a moment, hopefully. Make sure he doesn't swallow his tongue, sort of thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, after a couple rounds, the the seizing does stop. And he just like sits there and like pants a little bit. And right. Omri, I need you to make a con save. <laughs> Gotta save for the poison. Uh... <laughs> this is whatever the DM 19. feels like making her roll okay. one. Yeah, yeah. I can go. Over, I'm, I'm getting these. I I can't roll I... anything charisma related to save my life, but these con saves tonight. I'm on. I was I, I was kind of hoping that it ended up being a sympathetic seizure. Sorry, got too close <laughs> to the mic. And he like lays there for a few seconds, just like. <laughs> That hurt a lot. Right. Yeah. Better. Huh. Eat like something to drink or something. Does anyone else's heart feel like it's on fire? That doesn't sound good. It doesn't feel good either. Is that normal for you? No. And as he says that, <laughs> he does, like, uh, clutch his heart. Huh. He's having a stroke. No, he's having a heart attack. <laughs> he is having a heart attack. Uh, I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> Would my 25 wisdom medicine check still carry over to figure out that's what's happening? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, it would. Oh, his heart's break His heart's seizing up on him. That's not good. Gen that is generally not good at all. However, I'm not sure how to fix it. <laughs> you, you, you don't know how to fix. Uh, uh... And a few seconds later, he dies. Oh, that was fast. I catch right. him with enough time to put some healing into him. How much are you putting into him? Let's go five points of lay on hands. Okay. You put five points of lay on hands into him. And as you're sitting there, putting your healing light into him. Basically performing CPR. <laughs> he dies in your hands. Huh. For the ability to neutralize poisons, you suck! I don't think that was a poison. It might have just been natural. And as you guys are having this conversation, you hear... She says, Here. That was a terrible way to die. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you got on... For yeah, yeah, on the oh, specific sorry. kind of voice. Oh. Uh, you hear a voice next to you that says, That's a terrible way to die. Turn yeah. to face. <laughs> also turn to face. You find standing before you a half-elf with long blonde hair dressed in Medium armor. It's fucking nomad again. I'm like, I swear, I literally am here. Like, I swear to God. It is nomad. Oh huh. my fucking hell. Huh? I mean, we just can't escape him. I mean, He's yeah. Everywhere. I mean, I'm. He's a good character I'm, concept. I'm at a hundred percent sure Josh said he would show up at some time. It's just, he's in our uh, Wednesday game, too, so now I'm all confused. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're an interesting individual. You didn't do this, did you? I presume not, but... No, but ten seconds ago, he was a young boy. What? What? Oh, sorry, ten seconds ago for me, he was a young For you, you, uh... I, I presumably... Know him as a elderly gentleman. Hero 
corrosive heart failure and a neck from drinking too much alcohol. <laughs> Theron's just staring at the ground like, what is this man talking about? <laughs> this is now intrigued. Fulfilling mm -hmm. life, though, by the bottle, at least. Too much, you be? I have many names. You can call me no man. <laughs> but I'm gonna roll the list. Make a history check, both of you. <laughs> well, first, first I'm gonna roll a wisdom save to see if Darren just blurts out something. Okay, he's not going to. <laughs> uh, six. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, so, so Garrus. Uh, in your time as a gladiator fight contendant, mm -hmm. uh, you would contendant, know that there's. <laughs> You would know that there's stories amongst various people that those who succumb to their wound sometimes see before them a final shade before passing. Uh, almost as if their life flashes before their eyes. As if a figure is walking beside them with their final moments before finally they die. Garrus put two and two together that this guy has any relation to that guy? I mean, it, it's a close link, but it's not for certain, because there's no description of this person given, at least in the, in the tales. It's just people that have either been revived from their you know previous life, mm -hmm. and then they describe seeing a figure walk beside them. Chris has that look of like, yeah. what? I might know you from something, but I don't want to say it aloud. I'm just like. Can I call you then if you have many names? Most people seem to refer to me as no. And I'm assuming that cut out, so I'll say it again. Yes. Nomad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I caught enough to know what you were saying, but I'm going to also know the character. At least I know that cut out for you, too, so I'm just not going crazy. I... Yeah. Huh. Okay, you're, um... Nomad, I'll go with that. Um... Any particular like reason you are... Particular reason you're in town for now? Uh, not at the moment. It seems this is one of my pit stops. <laughs> <laughs> I want to roll something to see if Theron puts two and two together, but he's not going to. This <laughs> is just like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> That's all he's thinking about right now. Chris sort of has that look on his face of like... From something... But I just don't want to say it aloud. I'd just you be awkward be, for both of us. You seem to be questioning everything I'm telling. Just... For my time as a... Uh, or are we for a... Uh, prisoner with a job to fight um there is tales of someone that uh has a connection to you know where apparently 10 seconds ago he was a Elderly gentleman, so what I'm assuming is behind me at this point. He's a uh, new but old for us sort of thing. Yes. 
I knew him in one life, you knew him in a- Yes, but... Something I've heard where... There's generally, around the time of someone dying, or coming back, they... Someone being seen... Walking beside them. Would you have any connection to that at all? I've heard rumors. And you do have to leave him. Make an insight check. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> A Dang. classical return to form. <laughs> Saren just... Huh? I didn't mean nothing. One second. Like how we're just yeah, having this casual conversation. Yeah, the rest of you are Omri and Solania. You see this guy too. Hey, Omri's just like sitting down at a table with like a bottle of wine and she's been watching. <laughs> just watching, just like, oh, fuck, okay, whatever, I don't care. She's like, wine is much more interesting. She just keeps drinking and watching. <laughs> so I just kind of didn't happen to be the watches. Uh, just spitballing here. You wouldn't happen to be someone of the adventuring type. Adventuring is all I do. Just did for a little bit of coin. Me and my friends have a uh, do could use an extra hand or two. What is it you have to do? The place where you can make a little bit of extra coin while That's That's people who are generally deserving of it. That's what I'm saying. No, explain it. Sort of bring him over to our table and in hushed tones begin to explain the concept that, or well, the thing that Omri told us that for the sake of brevity. I, I actually want you to explain what what you're telling him, because it Especially makes a difference with him. <laughs> yeah, depending on what on what is said, there might be very different responses. From what my associate over here told me, sort of points to Omri, who was probably uninterested. <laughs> Omri walks over with her bottle of wine. Well, well, well no, we, we, no, they is brought him the back here. Table? Yeah, 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 oh. they brought him back. Is that the yeah. same table? And he's like, generally, what my associate told me is that apparently. There's an underground place that has every two weeks there's a competition of sorts to as many of these uh, bad individuals who are death in as quick of a two two week time frame as you can, and over that week the amount you've accrued will uh, lead to coin and uh, fabulous prizes <laughs> thanks Bob Barker <laughs> sort of a uh, I could describe it as a gladiator pit of sorts for killing the deserving individuals could be murderers rapists Generally bad people who are deserving of a death very swift and just. So what do you think? Make a persuasion check. Basically, the more you kill, the more you win. Drink, 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 drink. <laughs> Um, my drunkenness was bad. Oh, uh, no. 
He turns <laughs> to you, Solania. And he just looks at you silently for a moment. Well, no advantage or anything from that? No, just straight roll. Yeah, because by this point... One is real. Damn, alright. And he this asks you, Solania, he's like, you don't see much of the senseless murder type. What's your input on this? We were bound to have this happen anyway. Meeting no man in this fashion. Did you hear that, Cresta? I did. I'm. Gang. Just making sure. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like I you're thinking. I cut out or not? No, not this time. Senseless murder, murdering a mother and her child is down the street. Killing a man who has already killed many before saves the woman again. Solania was an ends justify the means kind of person. Straight punisher shit. Nature. <laughs> he thinks about it for a while. You like a drink while you wait? Or think? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> while he deliberates? While you deliberate, ponder. Agonize over. I. I have my own. Right. And he just this... takes out a small tankard, and as he sits there holding it, it slowly fills. It. And he drinks from it. And it fills itself back up again. Man, I know a lot of doors that would kill for that. Every dwarf is now eyeing Nomad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that one, and that one, most of them, really. What of these prizes? Uh, made a... Generally, they're announced the day before the two-week period ends. It can generally be... Uh... I have told... Of the magical variety from. Am I correct in that assumption, Omri? Uh, they're apparently real useful. <laughs> a single copper coin and a <laughs> and a free item from Frederick's great sword. <laughs> I see. More well. useful if she was sober. <laughs> You'd be more useful if you were sober. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> I just watched the man die, can we not? He, he was old. <laughs> I mean... Almost everybody here that I know will probably die before I do. Except for Solania. He reaches out towards you and then you notice he hesitates. Puts his hand back down. Wait, towards who? Towards Farron. Uh. Thank you, I would rather not be touched right now. Hey. <laughs> I'm sure- I'm sure no man's going- What the fuck is this kid's deal? I'm assuming I won't be able to... get any intent from that. No, it was very mysterious. I'm like, even with, like, Max, I probably wouldn't be able to insight what the fuck that was about. Uh, 
Um, I suppose I could help. I have no use for money, and I always do like collecting magic items. Well, whoa. There is something that we want that I don't know what it is, but I want it, and you can't have it. Friends being rather difficult. I'm pretty sure we can come to a mutually beneficial agreement. Listen, when you have a Fariel coming and telling you that things are important in your dreams, then you can have a say too. Oh Heck no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a as, as, as you say necromancer that. from before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just there, and just like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> you, you, you say his name, and Nomad looks at you very quizzically. It doesn't say anything. I don't know who that is. And just insight that is that the necromancer from before? Is that insight Omri as much as I can? Well, yeah. You go ahead. I mean, we've talked about Afariel. Do you have yeah, a name for specifically? Not for the dreams, but we talked about it when we were at the workshop, didn't we? When yeah. we had what's yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you already know who he is. You know the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Theron and. Uh... You've never seen him in person, but you do know. Plus, yeah, yeah. you've heard about him too because you were with us when freaking what's his face wandered off to his death. So... Yeah, fair. Yeah. So we know for a fact that Afariel is a necromancer that we were talking about earlier. Yes, yeah. you, you would know that. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, we tried that out last session. To speak nomad, too, who's like, really? What? You um, know, it's rude to stare at people's tusks, okay? Well, he doesn't stare at you, he just looks, he gives you a glance. And, I know. Like, a quizzical glance, and then just looks I like that bottom back. picture that Joe was sent. Mainly that face. <laughs> um, it's what? I'm part of my. Uh, we can come to a mutually beneficial agreement, of course. Hopefully. Second, while I explain to my friend Theron who this Fario person is, he's like the necromancer. From... Oh no! No, I remember. <laughs> okay, just checking. Uh, Omri's gonna look at Nomad and be like, Why'd you look at me all funny? Oh dear. Oh great. You're acting funny. For a second, does alcohol count as a poison? Yes. I have points in the Omri to sober her up. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> you are now sober. She's like, looks at Garrus like, seriously? What the fuck? <laughs> you gotta get this Looks at the empty bottle of wine, puts it on the table, reaches into her bag, and takes out the other one. <laughs> He's got a smug smirk. He's got a smug smirk on his face. Like, that's the funniest thing I've done all week. Punching you in the face will definitely be the highlight of my week. Keep going. I was out of character, but sure, or whatever. Oh. How was I supposed to know? It sounded like it was in character. I know! <laughs> it's hard been. to tell with this group. No He's matter what said, you Garrus, and it's just like... I do have some things I need to... ...current, uh... ...hit stop. Is there a certain time you would like me to? May we, uh... Primarily sleep here. We, if you, the discretion, as we do, gather on occasion. Can I trust you with the location? I'm sure I can find it. Among the people we associate with, you will probably find this without trying. Primarily here, or a workshop of sorts elsewhere. Well, we'll be here every night 
you can come find us here. If you have the time, just, I don't know, check in every-ish day, if possible, I guess. We're not exactly 100% sure when we're going yet. Um, Omri, do you wonder if, uh, would mind borrowing a gladiator? That's One. the gladiator's decision, and from what I can tell, they basically just stay in their pit and fight until they die. So, I don't think we're getting one of them. I mean... Perhaps... Our best bet is probably someone. just to find William, but... Or, you know, someone... Or literally just go hire here. somebody from a tavern. Like this dude. We can also try, you know, having a gladiator speak to another gladiator about, you know... Other gainful employment? I don't know, last time you didn't really seem very gladiator-ish last time we went there, so... You feeling up to it? Haven't been in a while, okay? Hasn't been that long, it's only been like a week-ish. From when I pulled you out of the last one. I'm just saying in general. Kinda hard to organize a gladiatorial fight... When, you know... Really frowned upon. I'm just saying, if I if you end up in another drunken heap on the floor, we're just leaving you there. Or at least I that am. was just of grief. I, from what? Nothing. You didn't die. No one died. Omri. What? What was he grieving over? There was nothing to he, grieve about. She can she can explain it to you later. I don't feel like having to tell you. I'm sensing I mean, a lot of tension between the two of them. You know, you save oh. someone's life and there's just, you know, no gratitude. It's really just, you know. <sighs> How many argues with everyone? Throw up into drunk balls on the floor and wallow away. Well, it was nice meeting you, uh, Nomad. Just uh, check in every now and then, and we'll let you know when we're ready to go. It'll probably be soon, though, so, you know. What? If you're feeling less boorish in a couple minutes, I'll explain it to you. I really don't care. All I was saying is just don't turn into a drunken ball on the floor again. That's all. Because apparently I... Apparently you don't care about the explanation as to why I ended up on a drunken ball on the floor. No, not really, no. That's all your shit, man. There is Takes her bottle of wine and heads upstairs. <laughs> Bonnie, I do hope you would care to enlighten... Don't worry about it. I'll get her later. She's just saying you're because you made her sober. I'll explain it to her, though. I, I think I prefer her drunk at this point. I do apologize for my friend. Particular inn you're staying in, Nomad, or are you just. Well, seeing as I'm here, I think I'll wander around for a while. Need for a bed, we've got two open in a room we're renting. I would prefer not to be around. Fair. Never tends to end well. It's so very fair, um. Anything? Let me know. I can sort you out. Perhaps it would be wise of you 
mend your feelings with your... He's, um, generally very boorish, so it's hard to really, uh, what's the word looking for, uh... Yeah. Yeah. I'm just Maybe. saying, as someone who has had the opportunity of meeting numerous amounts of people over the years, best to uh, mend your feelings where they are. Right on. Taking his stride. Taking his stride. Theron regressed into his uh, grunting self. And two. What? Checking if Theron had just regressed into his like uh, generally unsociable self. Um, I, I mean, uh, he. I just realized I was doing it the whole time. <laughs> it was just that he, he he kind of made comments about it must be very a very tiring life for Omri if she's so angry all the time, <laughs> and then kind of just stayed silent after that. A lot of the uh, silence, maybe the occasion. <laughs> No, not n no, not really at this point. It's kind of just like, oh, okay, this is a thing now, I guess. Mm. Since Nomad didn't kill the dude, as far as he knows. No, he just kind of seemed to show up when he died. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. As <laughs> as far as um Theron knows, and he's not going to pry about it. Nomad is not a murderer, so he has no problem with him. He's just kind of unnerved. <laughs> How did you appear when that man died? <laughs> Can we all just take a moment that we just left him there, by the way? <laughs> I'm sure some, I'm sure the notify bartender, he'll be fine. Oh yeah, no, the, like, he, was, he was like taken that. away a while. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume he was taken care of. He's not just gonna leave a dead body in the middle of a bar. No, yeah, it's just another random death in the city. It's... <laughs> oh. As you guys sit there for a few seconds, Nomad just like nods his head, just like, yes, I will see you tomorrow. Ew. And I he will... just walks off. Alrighty, I'm going to bed. Kids play nice. Good night. She just kind of walks up <laughs> to bed. <laughs> you should play what, nice, as I, as I think Theron and Salani are the same age. <laughs> She's just a lot more, I guess, worldly than he is. <laughs> huh. How old is Theron? Theron's 120. Oh, yeah, same age. Yeah, he's just been cloistered most of his life. Mm-hmm. Huh. That was, was weird. He was dead. That was incredibly strange, yes. So, I mean, granted, we've seen people get stabbed with lightning and turn into wolves, so I don't think that's the strangest thing we've seen all day. He died. Yes, he did die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna roll an intelligence check to see if Theron can conclude anything. 18. Okay, I don't know what he is, but those two events are definitely connected. I just don't know how. I'll explain it to you later. Oh, okay, at least somebody has an idea of what's going on then. Alright, um... Cal and Sfork, are you guys staying in the workshop for the night? Are you guys gonna sleep like normal humans? I was just gonna. Wait, wait. 
head back to the tavern, seeing how we're done working with whatever the hell we were doing. But, yeah, same. Yeah. You guys would show up <laughs> as you would see uh, Nomad leaving. <laughs> yeah, and Theron just kind of pointing randomly at things, like he's trying to connect something and just not getting it. Yeah. So, so what you see, say, always oh, funny. We just work. walk past a random half elf on our way into the tavern that shouldn't really pay any mind to us, and we shouldn't pay any mind to him. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> then that's what yeah. happens. <laughs> I'm just letting you know you, you're for a time reference frame. Got it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, see, you see this random half elf just walk out. No, right ahead. But <laughs> as you're getting there, and he just kind of like doesn't even notice you as he just walks. <laughs> and you know, huh? That was a half elf. Neat. <laughs> like not even like a like a thought about it. Just like... yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody's leaving a tavern. Who cares? Yeah. This looks like a normal adventurer. Even then, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Does he? <laughs> Literally just looks like a, re a regular day-to-day -day occurrence, so it's not even yeah. a thought. Yeah. Give yeah. me better in a couple days. It's not connected. I don't know how, but it's not connected. And you go inside and you find <laughs> Darius just... and... <laughs> and Theron just, like, sitting there, like... Theron looks slightly panicked, and Gareth just looks confused. Yeah, basically, just... Huh... I don't get it. What's wrong with you guys? You look like you saw a ghost. I mean, I just did see somebody die, so kind of. Huh. Uh, is it that dead body laying over there? <laughs> did they no. Not him out yet? No, it's the other dead body. Yes, it's that one. <laughs> Wait, there's two dead yeah. bodies? Uh, no, the guy earlier had a seizure. Then he had a heart attack. <laughs> For the last time, Garrus, it's not Wait, a stroke, they're different. Someone died and it wasn't Omri's fault? It wasn't Omri's fault. <laughs> and then... I mean, we didn't get that far yet, so... Well, no, oh, it, so it, it, might, it, it might be Omri's fault, okay. Oh, uh, unless she can force somebody to have a heart attack. <laughs> just, yeah, I'm just... Wait, can she? <laughs> I don't know about heart, heart attack. Aneurysm, maybe. <laughs> No, no, it was definitely a heart attack. Um, no, it wasn't anyway. Again. anyway, that half elven individual who just left uh, came in, commented on the fact that he died in a rather fortunate fashion, and we proceeded to have a conversation that... Later right in. as the guy died, too. And so, there's not much we could do about it. So... She proceeded to have a conversation in which this individual need to aid us in the whole uh, mm, that involves killing bad people, I think. No, well, why don't you just tell everybody? I didn't tell everybody. It was just he happened to be of the more... Uh, I kind of, what's the word? Very coincidental time that relays to a uh, myth I heard around in the pits for a while. What? What does a myth that you heard around the pits have anything to do with a half elf being in a bar when someone else died and you guys were there too and he just commented on it it was also the fact that he said 10 seconds ago for him he was a young guy and then the guy we were looking at was an elder who had just drunk himself into a seizure and a heart attack oh my god he's a time wizard no no that doesn't make sense what no those I mean, aren't, those aren't a thing. Elves are weird. Maybe, like, time just, they experience it differently. In seconds, though? Maybe, we maybe, just maybe he tomorrow. was speaking figuratively. It was like, oh, it was just the other day that we were kids again. Except for him, it was ten seconds because he liked hyperbole. I don't know. Oh, but he's... 
happened to have this weird... Did he also do a far yield? Oh uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, well, he, he, he seemed to he didn't recognize the name. I don't know if he actually knew a far yield himself. We didn't bring it up. Our drunken friend Omri did. Mm. He seems to have some You're sort saying of Omri wasn't discreet. What a surprise. Also the fact of uh, she was uh... then sobered up and then to uh, be a bit inconsiderate. Hmm. Put it this way, if I see her again, point, I get now, or uh, what's the word, annoyed with her, Sforic. You're just now realizing that. I'm just saying, I thought maybe she could be, you know, there's still potential there for good. She's just being considerate and misguided and lacking in social etiquette. Wait, why would the Safari will talk to her and her group? Oh, no, Very he good doesn't. question. No, he doesn't know that. Never mind. Redact that. Okay. What yeah. you're saying isn't making a whole lot of sense, so I'm just going to go to bed. Good night, everybody. It's that, a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that. that. I we recommend should... you guys do the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> We're gonna see each other in a couple minutes. <laughs> Kaz at least gonna get some food before he goes to bed. <laughs> yeah. I just like if somebody were just has detect thoughts on there and all that would be time wizards are a thing. <laughs> That's all I get. <laughs> time wizards are the thing. And... <laughs> so Cal gets some food. So eat and then sleep. Yeah. Everyone else retreats to bed. Omri and Solania. I need oh, both no. of you to make perception checks. Of course. Oh no! Here she is! <laughs> Twelve. Hey, for once it's not me! This is Solania's turn! <laughs> Holy right. shit! So, Solania, as you are in your trance in the night, you hear, very briefly, the window to your room unlock, <laughs> open, close. She just kind of... Welcome back! And then just kind of sit up and look around. Fuck, am I muted? No. Oh, okay. No, you're not. You're fine. <laughs> I, I didn't know Josh that just that didn't say anything. Or not. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to say anything after it. Uh, you see, sitting across from your beds, at, at the table, uh, a very familiar, partially covered woman. I shouldn't say partially covered. She would be fully covered. She's wearing her <laughs> I was full like, disguise. oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, no. Yeah, she's wearing her full disguise. I heard you were looking for me. Are we still asleep? I, like, with a bottle of wine in bed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We were. So, I actually just wanted to know if you would want to join our group. So everyone was kind of cool with doing the fight thing. We didn't have enough for the eight group. 
Well, if I join your team, that's only seven. Yeah, we're working on it. No, wait, wait, wait. We got, we got, um, a, another guy agreed to, um, do it with us th earlier. Wow, I'm Crazy. fucking ridiculous tonight. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting thought. What makes you believe I don't have a team of my We don't know. We were just kind of going out of limb, not gonna lie. Hmm. Normally, I do these things alone. But I'm sure we can strike some kind of bargain. These eight man teams do have the highest chance of winning. Exactly. To, also, is there any way we could contact you instead of just kind of hoping and making ourselves look like idiots? As you say this, Omri like rolls over and cuddles <laughs> the bottle of wine closer in bed. <laughs> I think you have that part covered on your own. What? She glances over at Omri. <laughs> Who's sleeping with a bottle of wine? <laughs> it seems the uh, wine really got to her. Yep. Yep. Yeah, if you want to... The other half bottle of wine that we were so nicely left. You can have it. I don't think she needs any more drink. Perhaps it's better if she drinks it. Alrighty then. Since I don't partake in alcohol. But if you do need to contact me, all you have to do is come by the estate again. Wonderful! And she takes off her mask. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the sound. <laughs> 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 sorry. <I'm excited. laughs> Omri's dream suddenly took a turn for the worse. Yeah. Oh, he's like, no! <laughs> the alcohol hit her. Yeah. Oh, no! No, wine, come back! <laughs> come the, back! Not the whiskey demons again. No, I didn't even drink it this time. It's <laughs> all carrots. Oh, God. Meanwhile, <laughs> Garrus no, is just no. for <laughs> The whiskey yeah. demons are coming to get her. Oh. Anyways, I don't want to know the context he's the, of that, he's, the, he's the sobriety demon. <laughs> the sobriety demon. <laughs> no, get away from me! I don't want it. No, I don't want to live in the world where every tankard is a tankard of sobriety. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get this far off, man? I don't know. We're done. Sorry. I'm continue. wondering. All right. So she takes off her mask. And that's where we're going to end it tonight. You! <laughs> Mother! You! I dig it. I'm into it. So bad. I'm into it. Oh. So many things are going to come to light next session. Ah. As soon as you see the face, it's Winston. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. No, it, no, it's Jeeves. Oh my god, that'd be even better. <laughs> no, it's pitch. <laughs> oh god. Old uh, man Witherspoon. <laughs> <laughs> At this point I'm just waiting now for they're just gonna take off the mask and all of a sudden it's just gonna be the spider. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> the spider just, in a giant just, next suit. Just <laughs> just 
Yeah, no, it, it, oh. yeah, it's Tanner Tanner the first. Jesus. Who's the 14th? Tanner Tanner of Tanner 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 Tanner's Tannery. Tanner 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 Fuck them up. You're the one who made it up. That's a talk twister. You're the one who made it up, I know, and I don't regret it at all. No regret. No Not even one? Alright, you can end the recording. To Tanner, to Tanner, Tanner.